video is sponsored by Voxy. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Blues Focus Watch Along with me, Tommy Kelsall and Jamie Lawler. Good evening, uh, good afternoon Jamie I should say, how are you doing? Well, we're clearly used to evening podcasts aren't I we? Know, yeah. I'm good mate, <laughs> how are you? You good bud? I'm very good. I've had a very productive week at university. I'm, uh, it's coming up to the exams of uh, the year, really. So it's all very much um, revision, revision, revision. I would show you my wall. It's literally covered in like exam techniques and everything, really. But uh, yeah, uh, it is Blues versus QPR this afternoon. A must-win game for the Blues. Um, I don't know how I'm feeling. I haven't really given it that much thought. Um, I've been more concentrated on the news that's come out during the week about Birmingham Wales and everything. Um, and obviously, with it being a Friday, I kind of woke up this morning thinking, oh, this isn't actually game day. I'm thinking it's going to be tomorrow. But yeah, um, hello to everybody in the chat as well. I always forget that. Uh, everybody's seeming fairly positive today. Obviously, Gary Rowett's first game back in charge. Um, I'm sure we're all happy about that, aren't we, Jamie? Oh, damn right. He's. Uh, let's be honest, he's going to save. I hope he's going to save us. And I'm, I feel very confident in the fact that he's going to bring results. Like I said to you, I think when he signed, I said, look, then three one nil losses we just had back to back. We don't lose them. He he converts some of them into points at least and that's what he's gonna bring. A bit of stability at the back. No, hundred percent. Yeah. I think that's exactly what we're gonna expect from him. And it'd be nice to see how we are we are on the attack and everything. I feel like we're gonna become more of a fortress team again, aren't we? Where we're just not gonna be conceding too many goals, battling out some results. And it's exactly what we need yeah. towards the end of the season when we're in a relegation battle. Um, but yeah, it's one of those really. I uh, hope everybody else is feeling okay. Uh, hello to Susan. What do you think to the new UB40 song? I quite like it. Uh, it's quite good, you know. It's um, sort of the thing that uh, I think the players were quite interested to sing along to as well at the end of the game, really. It's, it feels like a good song to sing. Um, I did see all the, um, uh, in the, obviously in the video, they've got players like Sanderson and Duke singing in the in the song as well. So it was quite cool. It was good. Um, obviously a big fan of UB40 as well, even as the... Uh, um, different lineup they are nowadays. Um, but yeah, uh, hello to Charlie as well. He says two 0 Blues. I really would absolutely die for that type of um, type of performance that. today. Uh, Blue Sumlin says Rao is the savior. Well, he definitely is for this season. That's, we've got to hope he is at least anyway. Uh, Keith from Niagara in Canada. It was a very long way to watch a Blues game today. Bloody Nora. Um, and yeah, we could say hello to a couple of other people. Harley as well in the chat. Uh, what do we all think to the lineup today in the chat as well? Uh, a bit different from usual, um, but one that could be might be throwing a little bit of a spanner in the works for QPR. Um, they're obviously in so, so decent form. They're in better form than us, that's for sure. Um, so I feel like it might be one that we need to try and throw at them. I, I, I'll tell you one thing, actually. I don't think it'll be a particularly great performance today because they, they're showing the highlights on Blues TV from the game last season. I just remember how poor that game was. You know, We had lots of the ball, but... I don't know that the game was like flat and we had like one or two chances at the best really. But um yeah, we, we still got a win, but it's one of those really. I don't know what you're expecting from it today, Jamie. I think I don't mind the lineup. I know I've seen a lot of people saying, Oh, it's back five, oh, it's better there are three defenders and five at the back, wing backs and look look, look a w five back can be attacking if you do it in the correct formation. I think if you're playing drama and laird at wing backs They've got more than enough ability to get up and down that line. We forget that Drame took Luton Town to the Premier League playing as wing back all season. Mm -hmm. This man knows how to grind out results. Luton were the shit houses of one 0 last year, and if anyone anyone's a master of that, Drame's done a thing or two from his time at Luton. Laird, mm -hmm. we all know Laird. A fit Laird has the pace and ability to get forward all game. I think mm -hmm. it's good. I think at the back we should be more solid, and I think finally having sort of top might be nice. You know. Give Stanfield that bit of freedom where he doesn't have to keep running down the channels. Stanfield just stay in the middle and running behind and have a dig. Mm -hmm. Roberts, this could be the wake up call for Roberts. He might finally get his goal. And I think the midfield's solid. It's nice to have feel it back as that kind of sitting holder. Yeah, I don't know. And it, the, height. It, mm, I, I, the only problem I have with the lineup is mostly the type of players that we're trying to play in position again. I mean, like, let me bring it up. So, I mean, the back five isn't too bad, I don't think. I just, yeah. I think it's one of those that Bielik could drop into the midfield and everything. I think that's good. But I don't know. The rest of the team seems very central. Don't feel like we've got much attacking threat down the wide, do we? Yeah, but am I right? You're saying, is it back of uh Bielik in the middle? Well, yeah, unless you play a two in the middle and then three up top. Oh, no, you can't play three up top. Where did I get three? <laughs> I think it, yeah. Put back on one side, Jay, the other, and Tyler up front, but you're not going to put Roberts up top on his own, surely. Um, 
I don't mind it. I think he's, by the look of it, he's giving back of that free roll, which we all know he's more than capable to pull off. And he's a shit house. We know the backer will just go to either wing anyway and he'll create play. And I think what he's kind of deploying here is to deploy backer in that freedom where he can Yeah, I think he is, yeah. Position. Mm. Hate we know has more than enough ample ability. I feel more sorry for Dazelle because I don't think Dazelle's really put a foot wrong for us. I could is he wrong, not injured, though? Is he injured? I, I think know. so, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Because I love or he might be a. But he, he wasn't playing though. much before this, though, was he? And I didn't mind Dazelle. Hmm. I can't say anything. It is a strange lineup. The more I look strong at it, the more bench. it is strong. Yeah, I, I agree with you on that. I think He's we've got some good players to bring off. Think as well. Yeah, I think that's right too. Not see Koji. No, I think that's a reasonable um, thing to make actually, because really, when you look at that type of uh, lineup, I think you can't really fit Miyoshi in there, and to bring him on later as well, he'll have a bit of that burst of pace, I think, um, which I think will be good for the team really. I think. I think four points out of the next two is a minimal that we need right now. Mm. Don't lose today and go and win at Preston. Get a good feeling in for UB40. Love to see it. Mm. No, I agree with that, yeah, because it will keep the team away from the bottom three as well, but also it will keep the fans happy as well. So that's what we need as well. Um, uh, a couple of other things coming in. I didn't think he could play as it's a loan from QPR. No, you are right, actually. That's why Dizal can't play. Uh, you oh, asked what on there, Keith, yeah. I always forget with players like that. It's it's um it's like if we were to play Leeds, isn't it? It's like with drama, he can't play, can he? That's why he didn't play in the game Actually, away. We ain't got to deal with that issue again. I know, yeah. Well, don't we did have Rooney at that Iru time as well. Right back again. Don't ever want to see Iru on the wing back role again, ever. <laughs> well, depending on how the lineup is, <laughs> we might get that today. <laughs> I don't know. Is it a five at the back or is it a four? I'm pretty sure it's a four. He started Laird, Buchanan and Drama. He started all of our fit fullbacks, so I'm assuming one of them's got to be dropping in the centre, unless unless he's absolutely shit out in a 4-4-2 with Ethan Laird at mm. right mid. That's it. That's Because when you say he could play wing back, there. that's the only thing that I'm thinking. Someone's I mean, saying a 3-5-2. I don't know. I, I, I don't think, think, I don't think Rout would play a 3-5. I don't think he would play that, though. It's I a think five. He would play it's four. a five in defence and a three in attack, surely. It's a five when we're defending, and then when we're going yeah. forward, the them two just bolt. Yeah, maybe. You might be right with that, yeah. My only issue is, is exhaustion. Like, are they going to be absolutely fucked now by Monday? Yeah, well, <laughs> it's, 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 it is a tight turnaround, to be fair. Mm. And Preston are a big physical team. Well, they're, yeah, they've, they've been on a fairly decent run of form as well, haven't they? They are still battling in a weird sort of mid-table battle for the uh, sixth place spot. But yeah, it's um, I think it's one of those really that if we can at least get a point today, I fancy us against Preston. But we're... I also think, though, like, we can't lose till the end of the season. That's the definite we can't lose, really. I mean, we're seven... guaranteed to stay up if that's the case as well. Out of the remaining eight games, there's seven where I believe we should be picking up points. And I would say Leicester away next week could be a pumping, but they are shit at the minute. Like, they, they are in poor form, yeah. Crumbled. But also, it's very blue to play a team that are very, very down there at the minute and just go, here you go, man. Mm. Yeah, Probably. true. The uh the players are now walking out. Uh, the QPR lineup seems like they're a pretty standard lineup. Um, no is Elias Chair, right? Yeah, yeah no Elias Chair. No, he's he's out for a few weeks, I think. Um, Good. He was the one like... that gives me gives me fear. He does. He's a class footballer. He's just class. Bring up their lineup. Have they released their lineup. Where the fuck is it? I oh, know he is in the lineup. <laughs> Fucking hell! I'm having a mess Hi. there. Where I don't know where I saw that. <laughs> He's the, he's the one I'm not in blue smokers mode. Opposite. I really am not. I've been. It's been a really tough week. Um, I've just done night shifts. I'm also like not. I know. Yeah, that's why we're both in a mess. <laughs> Gary Roberts applauding the fans. There we go. We can. Um, <laughs> we can. There you go. He's done more fan interaction than fucking Rooney did in 15 games. Right exactly. there, applaud the fans. Thanks. Oh god. Yeah. Uh, I, I I think it's going to be a good. I think it's going to be a good appointment. Um. I don't know though. It might be one of those that we might have to. Oh, mate! Fingers this crossed. Edgy, edgy two one two dropping a nine ninety nine by the look of it. Man, he's consistent, you know. What a lad, honestly. He, every single stream, every single video we upload, he's always there, back upload it, but giving I, us. I feel like if we see this man in the roost, we owe him a pint. <laughs> if you fancy one of my thirty nine carlings that I've got on the fan hub, then. Or, or at least 10 of them. Yeah, hit me up, mate, because you've uh, been very consistent yeah, and given us a lot of fun. Yeah, back five. Look at the lineup. Oh, yeah, that is true. But yeah, thanks, Edgy, mate. You're a, a top bloke yeah, for doing yeah. that every week, man. 
Yeah, I don't know why. I must have looked at the wrong team lineup then for the QPR one. And Chair wasn't in it. So that's embarrassing. I do apologise for people on the stream. <laughs> you wouldn't want it any other way on Blues Focus, though, would yeah, you? Listen, Inconsistent. <laughs> fucking com- com- pissing com- around as usual. Fans. This is what you get. You, just, you, get, you get what you get. Do you know what I mean? You're you so into a lot. <laughs> A live free stream, like this is what happens. <laughs> I'm sake. half awake and dead from night shifts. Tommy's not even in football mode because it's a Friday. <laughs> we don't know what's going on here. I'm literally, I, I can, I, all I can think of right now is just my law exam I've got towards the end of the year, and that's oh, just right. literally all that's consistent in my mind at the moment. <laughs> also, I'm going to throw a disclaimer out. I'm, I'm vaping is not good, and we shouldn't do it. But it's very stressful to watch Birmingham City and not. So I'm going to try not to vape. But if we can see the bad goal, you might just see me just. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> basically, Adam who runs the channel gets a bit annoyed when Jamie does it because he thinks he's unprofessional. I've not, I've not really got much of a gripe with it. I think it's okay, but Adam don't like it, so we don't do it. <laughs> it's a good thing I don't smoke like proper fags, isn't it? Though, because I'd be fucking smoking like a chimney today. I'm not that confident, to be honest. Um, I can, well, I'm all right until I watch Blues, and then uh, I don't know. I start the season. If I'm smoking about four fags a day, living my best life, and then Rooney came in, I'm back to forty a day. <laughs> Right, just before we kick off, Jamie, go on, gives you score prediction. What are we going for? Um, two 0 Blues. I think we take the lead, shit out it, and then end of the game, just get a nice little swift counter attack. Well, you're going for that, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I'll go for. I don't know actually. Let me try and get the timer. Oh no, not one forty. Oh right. shit! I forgot they got Big Asmir Begovic in goal, didn't they? He, that is uh, true. Yeah. Do you remember, do you remember that? Um, was it him that pulled off that wonder save? What season? Against us this season. Uh, it might have been. I think he had I a good game against us. This is also yeah. the same game this season at St Andrews where I lost my head because Koji and fucking Anderson played like 3 one two so Oh, yeah. It was that nil-nil, nil, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I remember that now. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'll go for a 1-1. One, one. That's what I think today's going to be. I think we can get a goal. I don't know. We, we might do like a similar Millwall performance where we don't have the best first half but have a good second half. I just hope we're going to get a goal, though. That's the thing. Because it's going to be another frustrating day if it's going to be one of those again. Elias chair down this left hand side. I we're trying to catch up with him. Slides in, Not blues throw, uh, QPR throw. Sorry, very good play. So I oh, we don't start fucking about trying to wind players up one minute into a game. I don't need you yellowed straight away, lad. None of that. Chair on this left hand side again. Nice working play from QPR there. Hayden into. Bielik getting in there strong though. That's good yeah, defending that right. from Bielik. Trying to get into Stansfield. He can't quite get away with it. That's what we've missed from Bielik. Just that bit of aggression. Mm. I'll just keep my phone here actually because I'm trying to look at the lineups and everything. I'm not really familiar with QPR. Oh, Opening first couple of minutes here. Not really gotten much of the ball. QPR keeping it nicely. Ball into the box. Sanderson with the header. Shot from distance, blocked well by Pake, and Ruddy can catch that. That's good, days. Now, how yes, much the... uh, international did Pake play, by the way? Because he might be bollocks. I don't know. He's He has been on duty, so has Jordan James. Um, so it might yeah, be... Jordan James' bench, though, I know. Yeah. He played I think... 120 minutes on Tuesday. Mm. Great, great action for him, though, isn't it? Great action for him. I was a bit confused. He didn't take a penalty, though, did he, in the shootout? And I was like, well, surely, you sent the mid who scored eight goals this season. Like, you've Kuna won here. Bakuna getting at the back line. On, oh, it? took a shot a bit too late there. Bieler bringing it down, keeping the ball nicely. Yeah, maybe. I, I, I kind of agree with what you're saying about James taking a penalty, but there we go. He's a young kid still. On. Roberts on the outside, down this left hand side. He can find a option. He's gone for oh. goal, and it's not too far away from the far corner, to be fair. Hopefully, you can get some chances in today. Haven't seen much from him in these last few weeks, have we? Better though, better. I look at that. Bit of confidence in him as well. Like that's what you want to see. Mm, no, hundred percent. Uh, that, that weren't far away, you know. It's what you need, though. It's, it's like the shooting on sight. I've said it for a while now. We haven't done it this season. We've tried. We've been very lax on pulling the trigger yeah. in the key the time. The only player who actually had the bollocks in the last this season to really hit it from distance is Backer consistently. Who's down injured? <laughs> no, it's it's Buchanan. Have we, have we got anyone fit at the back on the bench? 
Um, currently, we've got uh, on the bench today. Uh, no, not Bailey. really. Unless we're playing Gary Gardner at centre back again. Unless Bailey drops back and then you put Gary in the middle. Maybe, yeah. But there again, I would play James if that was the case. Yeah. Fucking elbowed him in the jaw. I know, yeah. He, he's a bit of a... He, he gets those waxes, doesn't he? Didn't he get one against Plymouth as well? He gets he gets absolutely manhandled most games. because like, He's not the tallest, but you know what? He wins his fair share in the end. Mm. No, he's a smart player, to be fair to him. You know, he, he times things well. Yeah, I, I, we're in black today, though, as well. I thought we were playing in red. That's why the thumbnail, for those who were wondering, is red. I thought we were playing a blue and white team. We'll play, we'll play in red, but black is the choice of kiss as uh, Lee Buchanan is lying down with uh, half of his face missing after somebody elbowed him in the face when he was going for the header. Sam Jones, be proud of that elbow. It was decent, that. Nasty. It's caught him clean jaw as well, that as like He's literally mm. caught him clean on the side of the mush. Was a big whack, to be fair to him. Uh, it's the yellow, surely. You can't lead with your elbow. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Is the referee given anything for this? Don't think he has. Um, for those who are wondering where the live scores along the bottom, um, we haven't got a guy to do it today. <laughs> We're... Um, we're a bit, uh, everybody's quite busy at the moment, so it's it's is difficult to try and get people on. Like Jamie's been on night shifts and everything, and I've been busy at university and everything. So we will be, um, we will hopefully be back uh, to normality after the um, after like um, end of April, really, which is usually when the season finishes. I can't speak today. <laughs> Ball up towards the top. Ethan Laird heads it down towards. Bakuna, uh, but nothing comes from it. Jake Clark's alter former Blues player himself. Um, standing in strong there for a challenge. <laughs> they had winning it back there, no? That's good, that is. Pake picking up the loose ball here. He can find Bakuna on the right-hand okay. side. He's got Stansfield in the middle if he can find him. He's trying to wriggle through, and he does get the ball across. Oh. It's bouncing around a little bit. Tyler Roberts bouncing in there. Laird, and there's Stansfield. Nothing from it, and then QPR can come away. It's a good run from Anderson, but it's a poor pass in the end there from the midfielder. Ball through for a drama. Roberts can hold it up a little bit. He is on side, on that left-hand side. Pace gives it to Pake. Nice feet. He can find... Oh, he couldn't quite get enough for drama. Robert's going for a shot again. Well blocked. Robert's jumping in again there, enough. to be fair. Looks up for it today, doesn't he? I tell you what, this is, this is what you want, though, isn't it? It's looking good, yeah. Felix definitely playing that drop into defensive role, isn't he, though? He, he comes forward into midfield, and then when everybody comes back he'll drop in because he's like the first line of defense for when you want to drop back into that four because at the moment we're playing with three at the back led with a lovely touch down this right hand side he can find a couple in the middle ah, he tried to chop okay. back and then the ball got away from him i was gonna say how nice it is about having a center mid like pike where you can give him the ball knowing that there's someone on him but he's got enough intelligence to just still keep the ball i know i've been very impressed with pike actually i think he's very tidy on the ball he's that type of player who just will give you what you want really when you give it him so far, seven minutes played. We've had most of the possession. We've had most of the chances. QPR had a couple of opportunities towards the start of the game, but nothing really big at the moment. Tries to switch it out to the wide there. QPR can intercept it, though. Elias Chair on this left-hand side. Looking to switch it, and he can't find it, and I'll go straight through to John Ruddy. Someone's calling me. Sorry, give me five minutes. I'm <laughs> gonna go on mute. All right. No worries. Stansfield holding up there, though. Big chance here for Blues while Jamie's away. Laird on the left hand on this right hand side here. 
Ball in. Ah, oh, it's corner for blue still, though. But no, it's not. It's a goal kick. How the fuck's that? Cut? Fucking hell, man. That's a lot of bollocks. Yeah, it's a corner. How's that a fucking goal kick? What a load of nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> BCFC boy, remember me? Yeah, mate. I remember you from a couple of streams ago. Was it the Cardiff game that we were watching together? That was good. That was, it was a good live stream. Ethan there trying to battle away down the right hand side. Uh, anybody wondering where we're watching this? We're watching this on Blues TV. Um, just the standard stuff, really. Nothing too different from today. QPR trying to work it forward, but Blues are keeping it well. Drama into Beely. Lovely little flick over the top of the player there, though. Just gets the control a little bit off. Battling the way nicely, though. Well done, Beelik. Oh, we've lost it again now. Fuck's sake, come on. Plymouth for winning. Fucking hell, that's great for us. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Yeah, it, just, it, it does put them further away from us. It's just, it's, it's not too much of an end of a world situation. Chair playing well, though. Cutting inside. No one's there. Drama can hopefully get this one clear with any any worries no he can't terrible clearance from him that is Paul with the cross and a free header for chair great save from fucking John Ruddy what a save oh Jamie's back <laughs> terrific save from Ruddy I'm pretty sure that was chair who got the header too easy we get down that that right hand side Chair with free Edo, yeah. What great save say. from Ruddy. And Brilliant great save. from D on there after as well. Mm. Just get a foot on it, get it away. Yeah. Yeah, the cross from Willock and then the great save. Really good save. Free header though. Got to be asking the questions of who's picking him up. It's not even that. Like I like drama, but for Fox's sake, like, right, if there's no decent option out there, just punt it up the field for the love mm. of God. Yeah. Thanks to Mick. Uh, Sat on a balcony in the Philippines listening to this today. Uh, make good commentary. Thank you, mate. And uh, hopefully you're enjoying your uh, lovely sunny day in the Philippines. If it is sunny, I'm hoping it is. I'd be amazed if it isn't. I know it's, it's one of those um, islands that have a bit of bad weather at times. But yeah, amazing. Lovely. Um, Southampton are a goal up. Uh, I don't know who they're playing today. Uh, Middlesbrough It's not too much of a big issue. Uh, Plymouth as well is not a big issue as well. They're above us. It's just the teams below us. We don't need them to win. Uh, Huddersfield playing Coventry so hopefully they can do us a favour uh, Wednesday are playing Swansea and Rotherham are pretty much down but they're playing Preston so it'd be good to know if, how they get on to the, against them today yeah 11.15 <laughs> uh, in, in the that. evening says Mick wow bloody Nora BCFC boy, I asked her else. <laughs> I'm interested to know the verdict now of what happened in this. <laughs> Ball over the top. Buchanan can sweep up nicely there. We're still not afraid from playing that from the back though, are we? Because like, oh, we've nearly lost it there. Drama picking it up and then into Roberts. It's it, it, it's nice to see that we are still giving it a go. I, I respect the grind from that really. I do, but it still makes me nervous. We haven't got the footballers capabilities to be knocking it about from the back. Yeah, true, true. Hey, <laughs> BCFC boy got that girl to go out of him. But for those that don't know um, on the chat, uh, I think it was the Cardiff game that we did when Rooney was still here. And he was sort of debating whether he should or not. He was dropping it in the chat. And we were all like, nah, go for it, man. It'd be great. So uh, it's here that you've actually managed to get that. It's fantastic, man. Fair play to you. Maybe you could do We're like a love story here. I'm yeah. <laughs> Maybe you can do the same with hopefully getting us a fucking win. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fair play to you, mate. Very well. Very well done. <laughs> Robert's going in there. Trying to win the ball back, but QPR just punts it long and then forward towards Lyndon Dykes. I don't like this guy. I think he's a pretty shit striker, to be fair. 
which is why he'll be don't guaranteed to score. It. Don't fucking say I it. I know. Because you know what's going to happen. <laughs> as soon as I mention it. Oh, hang about. What am I going? Why have I got bad Wi-Fi? This, I'm at home. I should have decent Wi-Fi. <laughs> don't leave me on my own. <laughs> Balling from the box. Chance. Oh, it's come off the bar for QPR. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Was that Anderson for them coming in at the back post? Still not picking players up again, though. It's a wicked ball in from that Pal player. Great ball. Oh, it's... Drama there. Scored, then. <laughs> Drama, what's he doing? Getting the wrong side of him there. Fucking hell. <sighs> Close chance that was. Ethan Laird's got it here. Hopefully he can get to the back line a bit. Oh, good challenge, to be fair. And the referee's given it. Oh, we'll take that. <laughs> Bloody Nora. What were we thinking to the um, start of the game so far? Uh, some guys actually Strong. just asked how we are playing. Uh, I don't know. Ten and they were starting to give them chances, I think, is my opinion. Yeah, I mean, it's a typical Blues performance so far. It, it, there's nothing too different from it. We look... Mm, We've had like a fair few chances. But I don't know, 15 minutes, you can't really tell whether we're playing good or not, really. we got to... Because if we score here, then it won't really matter, will it? Kuna on this uh, right-hand side. So, oh, he's not even crossed it. He's played it outside. Pake with the ball back in. He has got Bielik there. Oh, no one's there. I don't know why Bakuna Actually, still does that, to be fair. That was clever, to be fair. That worked quite well. Because mm. they weren't expecting that. Although we all know Pake has got it in his locker, so I would have loved for Pake to just thunder that and <laughs> have a dig, son. Uh, updates on some scores. Coventry are beating Huddersfield. That's very good news for us. Uh, that puts us, I think that puts us a point ahead. Yeah, it does. So that'll um, hopefully widen the gap a bit more. If we can get a goal here now, then that'll be great. Jay hasn't really had a touch of the ball yet, to be fair, since. He hardly, he's hardly had a touch of the ball in the last few weeks, to be fair, really. He's been very unnoticeable. They must know, though, as well, in terms of if your QPR setting up, you kind of look at the tilt top and you go, you danger man, Stansfield. He's got 10 goals. <laughs> yeah. Has he got 10? I think nine in the league, one in the FA. Uh, I think so. Let me double check. Uh, nine, so yeah, and nine goals this season. Uh, what was that? Oh, this. Yeah, so currently Blues sit on forty points in twenty first. Uh, Huddersfield sit on twenty, uh, sit on thirty nine and in twenty second place. Where are uh, the They're just above us, aren't they? Literally just above us. Yeah. So if we win today, we've gone forty three. So that would put us eighteenth. Why is the Wi-Fi so bad? I'm jittering about all the places. It's fucking really annoying, this is. You're right on, like, when I can see you're on this now, on this live, you're not jittering or lagging about for me. Okay, might just be my feedback from it then. I've got a fair few things running, to be fair, though. Piece of shit. I can barely afford this fucking Wi-Fi. It's absolutely terrible. Stansfield going in. Oh, I knew he was giving that. Fuck off, Rev. I mean, in all fairness, if he'd give us the Ethan Laird foul, he's going to give that to me. That's true. That yeah. I can't win, Jack. I, I just hate how weak referees are now with decisions like that. Like, there's just, there is no foul in that. It, it yeah, is literally is. simulation. He, he's still kind of put him in the predicament, though, any he? Footballers are taught now, aren't they? Any contact go down. If I was a referee in that situation, I'd, I wouldn't have given that though. I'd have taken the marking down in the, um, I'd have taken a mark down from the referee from that. Anyway, QPR free kick from distance. Anderson for them to whip it in, in towards the back post. Head across back towards goal, and then Tyler Roberts can clear very comfortably. He's been man of the match so far in the first fifteen minutes. <laughs> He's definitely looking up for it, that's for sure. 
Stansfield's not looking like his usual self, though. The, the thing is with Stansfield, what I hate to admit is he's looking like Hogan. You know, where he sort of like that sort of press that he does where he's not really giving it that much. It's like their player there, he's just like giving it a little bit of a heavy touch there. If, if that was old Stansfield from earlier in the season, he'd have picked up on that. Like a... Your issue is he has just played under 21s England, though, so he could be bollocks. Yeah, I don't know, though. It's one of those. It's just. He, he might be a bit. Uh, a bit exhausted from the season and obviously playing in the championship is difficult so I'm definitely not taking that away from him but it's just like as an an, an uh, as an analysis of where he is in the season I think he's just looking a bit ropey at the moment oh yeah so and let's be honest a Rowett team is all about effort yeah that's going to be tricky towards the end of the season chair on the left hand side he can go from distance then we'll take that all day that's rubbish yeah. <laughs> uh my mum's in the chat as well saying I've made you a cup of tea and the cheese roll. Thank you, mum. That's very lovely. <laughs> um, thank you to Susan as well for the five pounds. Amazing. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't know. Is she left it outside my door? Bear with me one second, everybody in the chat. <laughs> It's such a mum thing as well. Like, I love, my mum does this to me. She'll text me and she'll still put mum at the end. And I'm like, I yeah, know yeah. it's you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Bloody Nora. Did anybody say that then? Yeah, nearly, eh? Fuck me. Steve Cook, Until it man, crosses he... the line, I don't get excited anymore because it's so blues. Yeah. Shocking bad pass, that is. Begovic reads it well and clears it just in time. Oof. Mother of God, that was close. At the time of the season where you just need a bit of fucking luck as well about our season gone, that would have been ideal. Well, it's like you were saying earlier on the podcast, wasn't it? We were saying that um, Ollie Burke will be the one to <laughs> Ollie Burke will be the one to keep us up with a back heel or like but, a Rabona. So, yeah, I mean, how blues would it be for him? Like, go on, Jay. Oh, it's unlucky. Go on. Stansfield again on the spin. Oh, touch again. Too many. Fucking shoot. Coventry are 2-0 that's good. Good to know. I mean, Iwu is playing fucking false centre half here. So he's literally bolting down the wing with Laird. I don't know what's going on here. Mm. I, yeah, I, it's got to have been like Mowbray when we played Southampton. Venus must have done it because I noticed all game with Che Adams against Southampton. Like, Iwu was just following him. Like, even mm. like when he went back in defence, Iwu was running at him. So unless he's done the same thing and gone... Your marking chair. Yeah, true, true. Looks like a handball from Sanderson. Referee has given that one. Probably was, to be fair. Yeah. There's never a time I need you to be a captain, son. It's now. Leave. Yeah, this is handball. It's not really his fault, though, to be fair. It's not like you can do that. No. Nah. He's yeah, kicked it off just after his hand, man. Yeah, just accidental, really. Ten years ago, that's ball to hand play on. I know balls of hand doesn't exist really anymore, does it? No. Uh, VAR absolutely shafted that, didn't it? Mm. That's why I hate VAR. I don't want it in the championship. As much as I think referees are weak and everything, I think they just need to carry on doing what they're doing. I would, I would love for someone to do an analysis, though, on VAR this season and see where we'd be at if actual football rules played. Mm, maybe. Because there's been a goal know. or two where I've kind of gone, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's one of those. I just think it'll kill the game even more, though. Like Championship football is very much just a business at the end of the day, really. They will play the football they need to win the games. I've taken it short QPR from a corner. Blair will, uh, Laird will click that clear. Tyler Roberts doing well, to be fair to him. He's looking up for it. Fair play. Yeah. Been impressed with him so far in the first 20 minutes. He's looking okay. Uh, Preston the goal up against Rotherham uh, it's probably to be expected to really um, be see interesting to see how they get on today and if we need to worry about them against uh, uh, worry about them on Monday Coventry are two up I think I mentioned that one yeah cheese and vegetarian ham uh, sandwich for those who don't know I am a vegetarian um I've been all my life. So uh, if you want to unsubscribe, I completely get the reasoning. <laughs> I nearly left the podcast over it. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> I 
Rowett's losing his head over something. <laughs> Who are Scrap. we punting it up to? The fucking Stansfield, that's what we're doing. It's silly, that is. I know I said we had I like, um... it up, but aim for Roberts. Mm. I don't know where he's playing, to be honest, though, because he was playing on more of the left at first, wasn't he? And now he's gone out to the right and Bakuna's on the left now. So unless they've done that as a switch, but Tyler Roberts definitely started the game on the left, didn't they? I tell you what, actually, it's this period of the game where we, we fall out, isn't it? From like 15 to like 30 minutes, we we see nothing of the ball, do we? We forget how to play football for a We do, yeah. It, it's the, it's this bit of the game. We, we can't remember where we are in the game. It's like we've given it a lot in the first 15 and we progress well to the end of the half. But it's it's not even like we're sitting off and letting them play. It's like we're really trying to get the ball back here and QPR are just playing it round us, like, like making us for mugs, really. Vegetarian telling everyone they're a vegetarian. I think right. Oh, here we go. I think right. I, I, I've not really said it very often. I've said it once, like twice in my whole time being on Blues Focus. I don't like vegans. Just make that sure. And that most vegetarians don't like vegans as well. If you're a vegetarian, it, it's if you're a vegetarian, it's because you're making a choice. If you're a vegan, you're a show off. If there's any vegans in the chat, we, as a blues focus standpoint, would like to apologise for. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> you can you get cuscus thrown at your front door if you carry it. <laughs> Raw. Oh, good ball. Oh, I headed over from Sanderson. <laughs> oh, God. Tommy's triggered a whole community of vegans in three seconds. <laughs> good. Become a vegetarian, shut up. <laughs> Drink a cup of milk and get over it. I have goat's milk, though. I don't really like cow's milk. I do like goat's milk. Corner for QPR anyway. <laughs> In towards the box, really brilliant. Yeah, that is absolutely spot on. And Bakuna on the break here on the left hand side. Stansfield's trying to catch up with him. And he's played him in. Oh, Stansfield ball. in. Massive chance. Go on, Stansfield. No, come on. Fucking shoot. Oh, what the fuck? He went around the keeper and he still didn't get it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Lovely from Robert. Cross the box. Oh. Oh, and Begovic comes for it. Why oh. didn't he shoot? To be fair, I think Begovic is massive, and he so Begovic made himself huge there. Oh. Just that, just oh. UPR on the break here now. Down this right hand side, good tackle from Buchanan. Should be a goal kick for Blues as well. Referee's given it as the corner. Wait, oh. I think he takes a too much heavier touch. It's an amazing ball from Bakuna. Yeah, nah, maybe he, he takes it a bit too much. There's not a lot more we can do there. There's, mm. he's, Begovic is fucking six foot eight, man. He's massive. Like, what else can you do there? Yeah, I fair mean, enough. in an ideal world, you look to your right and just flick it through for a Tyler Roberts tap in there. Yeah, that is true. It just felt like it was destined to roll it in the empty net. But yeah, on the replay, he does take too much of a heavier touch, but it's in the circumstances, so it's fair enough. Great positional move. Uh, great move, though, from Blues. Straight into the box, Bielik away. Right there, that is what we've missed, that height of Bielik. Yeah, exactly. We've had a few nervy corners. Oh, Ball straight in over the top, though. Anderson with a chance. He's blazed it there for QPR. Big chance, that is. Very big chance. I mean, I literally get Samaras vibes off this guy. He's very Samaras, yes. <laughs> Did he play for... Um, and he was Greek, but didn't he play for Celtic? He did. I went to Celtic part one game and watched him actually score. Loved it. Mm. Are you Celtic or Rangers? I mean, do do we get into this on Celtic? <laughs> but do we get into this? <laughs> We've already gotten yeah. into vegans, so we can get into the Celtic and Rangers. Cue the abuse. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, I think nothing was coming from that. Fuck me. Oh, chance for chair. Get rid of it. Come on, Blues. Well, Red Ethan Blair's brilliant. Love that. Go on. Bit of space now. Drive, drive. Puna. Oh, too heavy that time. Back, back is the key here, though, in my opinion. He's the one in that cam position. He'll pick up the ball and he can drive. Hmm. Half an hour in, what have we making to the game so far? Um, probably should be one nil up, don't we? But mm. they've also had their chances. Um, it's a it's an away performance, isn't it? At the minute, and it's a solid away performance. Hmm. Yeah, be sure to let us know what you think in the chat as well. We'll be reading them out uh, when I'm these not are, open number two. <laughs> these are susceptible to be opened up, though. You can see that these are. These are leaky at the back as much as we are. So, yeah, we look we look very evenly matched right now. Yeah, we look down this right hand side for QPR. He's tricking in with drama. Needs to get a shot away of something though, and he does eventually. And Ruddy can catch that very well. We don't mind Put a bet on three goals in this match. What do you think, guys? I think I think we'll win. I don't know. Three three goals in a team that are both down towards the end of the table. It's possible. Like, everything's possible. But I don't know. I, I would have pe perhaps gone two because I think that it's more likely to be a draw than it is one team winning it. But yeah, it's, it's possible. Of course it is. Need to stop playing out from the back, says Rich. Uh, not good enough do, uh, to do it and we invite pressure. The yeah, I, I, this game is I agree with that comment wholeheartedly. If we had Duke or Burke or someone up front who's got the stability to hold the bloody ball. And I'm not saying yeah. Burke's a good footballer, but he's a he's a unit of a man. Mm. The issue I is, is I mean. also don't like playing out from the back. And I've said already on this pod, like, we don't have the facilities to be playing out from the back. But if it's like this and it's safe possession, all for it. I'm not. I don't like it when Ruddy's playing. It's a Sanderson with two fuckers running at him, though. That that scares the life out of me. Mm. Cody Drama to Tyler Roberts. He's back on the left. Drama's found some space, so if he can get a shot away, he's had the ball. Ed kicked <laughs> ball kicked at his head when he went on the floor, though. Sanderson can clear up that nicely. That's good. Nice bit of space now, come on. See what I mean? 30 minutes and we're back in the game now, aren't we? Oh. Well, yeah. Can we just can we just pay attention to Pate's touch there, which nearly actually flicked Stansfield in over I know. the top? That was mm. ridiculous. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think he's just like, me and, you, me and you both really like him, don't we? I think he's just like a classy, tidy player, isn't he? His first game, within 20 minutes, someone texted me and they were like, he, he's too good for us. I was like, I mm. He looks really. He's the guy that you build around. I know, yeah. I, I'm surprised that he is playing such a defensive role. In reality, he should be playing that sort of, sort of that just sort of floating midfielder. If that makes sense, there is a term for that. I can't think of what it's called. The backer role. <laughs> Not the backer role. No. <laughs> no, like where backers should be. Like where backers playing today is kind of where you want in that free roam to kind of. Yeah, there is a word. There is a term for it. Uh, I think it, it's it's um. Michael Carrick was one. I think Pirlo was as well. If anybody knows what that term is for that midfielder who sort of just plays a bit of a free roam, that's what well, I think Pike should be. Yeah, well, <laughs> let, us, let us know if you know that's the that. term in the comments. Because I think it's something Italian. I can't remember. Remove to right or something like that. It begins with R. Come on, that's nice. We're playing, we're playing okay here now. Water carrier. It genuinely, it might be something like that in a weird way. I think it might be. It, 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 it's it's something. Anchorman. The anchor man's definitely Beelick. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Do you want me to load FM, mate? I'll tell you all the roles. <laughs> it's it's. I can't remember what it's called now. It will it will 
Yeah, welcome to me. It's oh, we're stopping playing now because one of the players has been injured. Didn't, really, didn't hold his head once. Fuck off, so honestly. How stupid that is. Honestly, why does why do referees have to pull up on everything minor nowadays? Oh, you fuck off! If, why do you have to stop the play for that? There, it's not even him in the face. It's him in the fucking chest. For God's sake, the right, Stansfield I'm goes fine. in magic. Yeah, uh, fucking Stansfield goes in for a one like a little challenge there with their attacker. It flicks up off and it hits one of their players sort of in the sort of esophagus region and he stops play. It's like ridiculous. I mean, you're only meant to stop the game for a head injury, are you not? Yeah, it's hardly a fucking head injury that one is. Uh, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it's only if it's a head injury that is not a head injury. Mm, yeah. As so someone said the Mezelza in the. Mezella. Yeah, I think that's what it's yes. called. Yeah. He's that type of player, really, in my opinion. He should be playing. Ty Roberts being nearly caught on the ball there. And went oh, to free ref, kick. Hey, that's, that's a, a yellow. You better be booking him for that. I'm not having that. That's got to be a yellow. You fucking clattered him. What do you mean? <laughs> that is a what yellow just, card. That is a fucking him? yellow. Oh, that's... Nah, you should book him for that. What do you mean, bro? <laughs> you mean? That's a yellow. <laughs> <laughs> That's GGF. <Gigi. laughs> just not having it, man. Not happy about that. This is better, though. We're getting some strong possession on the ball again, and then we give it away as soon as I say it. Watch oh. it, book it now. Guarantee it. Referee is. He's talking to him. Is he going to book him? I don't think he is. Don't book him, you wanker. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look too much like a foul, but I suppose by the way he's coming in round the corner, then maybe, yeah. Uh, looking all right, though, Tyler Roberts. I've been quite impressed with him so far. Putting his graft in, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, last five minutes we've played much better. Calm down. But you said just... that. I mean, you'll be the second half with the same, mate. 60 to 75 will be like... That's why I thought at the start of the game it'd be like the Millwall game, just very not the best first half. We have that point from fifteen minutes to thirty minutes where we just don't look in the game at all, and then we'll have a strong end to the half. We're we're very much a strong start to the t start, strong start to the game, strong end to the half, strong start to the half, strong end to the game. With that type of team, it's the middle bit of the game. Take a ten minutes of battle every game, every half, just there. Yeah. yeah, we just we don't seem to be in the game really. But we're looking more in the game now. That's yes. a that looked like ours, to be fair. Fray with the ball here for QPR, trying to get the ball in, but Sanderson and Drama squeezed him out into that corner. Decent play, that. Terrible pass, that is. Hopefully that'll go out. He's offside anyway, that's good. <laughs> Uh, Grace says, I'll take a point if Huddersfield and Wednesday lose. I agree. I think that's okay. Just got to not lose until the end of the season. I know I'll keep saying it, but that's 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 pretty much what we need to do. I mean, how many points keeps us up this season? I saw someone comment saying potentially 50. And you know what? The way this season's gone, it could be 48. It could. I, I don't really know. Chef Wednesday honest, had so... a flurry and now they're crumbling again. Yeah. I, I think that's probably the bottom three at the moment, really, by the end of the season. Because Huddersfield, I mean, like they 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 they're, they're pretty much doing the same as Wednesday as well. They've had a bit of a flurry. It seems to be on the decline now. It's where we need to get away from it, just to absolutely guarantee the safety. A goal here wouldn't do us any problems. Pake doing well there. You can find somebody in the middle. He's laid it back for Tyler Roberts on the side, and that's a terrible finish. That is. He really should do better. QPR are not happy with something. I think they're just upset with their midfield play, really. He Lovely play so from well Pake and Drama. Ball back as well. Lovely ball back for Tyler Robs as well. He takes it too casually. He takes it with the side of his foot, doesn't he? Just and belt the fucking thing. Use your laces. Get your head well. over the ball. Hit it as hard as you can. Test the keeper. Using the inside of your foot like that for. You're not curling it. You're trying to hit the back of the net with it. Fucking blast it. 
gone for Bloody a fucking throw in. That is woeful. Well, he's out there, yeah. Itty with your laces, then get your head over the ball. Put some power into it. Test the keeper. Anything can happen when you put some real power into it. it. Can take a deflection off one of the players. It could hit the post. It could hit the keeper. It could hit the fucking top corner for all I care. Pay doing brilliantly again into Bakuna. Oh, so good. Into Laird. Lovely ball in for Roberts. Nearly just there. But nice run though from Roberts. To be fair to him, he just needed to have hit that with his laces. It was. Poor technique from him. Clark, Clark Stolt has got the look of a man who's getting booked this game. He's fucking mm. livid every time the camera looks at him. He's kicking up a lot. <laughs> I mean, he has been done that again. <laughs> Brophy Blues? Oh. Well, I don't know. It's, it looked like there, Fro, to be fair. We were just pissing about with it rather than getting the ball in the box. What we like, honestly? I was waiting for Route 101. I was waiting to see like him just throw Beely as a centre forward and just shit out the ball in the last night. That might come if we need to stay on the phone the last day. Playing Ollie Burke at right wing. Be Beely's playing well, you know. They're, I think the midfield has looked quality, to be fair. Pake and Beely have looked really sound. And backers Lovely ball from the Drama there. Tyler Roberts on the left hand side. What? Oh, did it take a. I was about to say. Yeah. It was the, he looked about to cross it, and it it took it obviously took a deflection to go through for a corner. But he just pulled out of the cross. So I was like, "What are you doing?" Wednesday one 0 Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Fuck. Right, we do need to score now. Then, come on, pay out for the corner. Yeah, they're playing again. Hmm. They're playing Swansea. Pake with the in swinger here, and the referee stopped it for something. Uh, some of the scores from earlier on Bristol City beat Leicester 1 0, Millwall drew with West Brom 1 1. Uh, Cardiff are losing to Sunderland 2 0, Coventry are lose, uh, beating Huddersfield 2 0, Holland Stoke are still 0 0. Uh, Pake with the corner here now. In swinger right towards the back post. Uh, it's a bit too high and long in the end, though. Not the best corner in the end. Um, Plymouth for beating Norwich. So that's uh, one that's getting them further away from the relegation zone. Uh, Preston are beating Rotherham. Rotherham are looking. Are they? When are they mathematically relegated? Because they're on. Let's have a look. Very soon. They're, they're on twenty-one, and we're on forty. I don't know. Is, it, is anybody good, in, good at maths? <laughs> Let me know in the comments because maths. I'm shocking at maths. I, I barely passed this in GCSE. Within the next two to three games, they'll be down. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Blues are obviously drawing to QPR 0 0. Wednesday have just taken the lead against Swansea. Uh, it is Kata Martyri who's got the goal for them. Uh, and Southampton are beating Borough. Blackburn are playing Ipswich later tonight, and so Watford and Leeds. So, um, yeah, it's a bit of an action-packed Friday afternoon, this is. Balling towards the box. It's going to go straight over the top of everybody. QPR keep hold of the ball, though. His chair again. Cutting in on the right-hand side. Goes for a shot. Well blocked by Iwu. Got down to slide in for the challenge. Chair doing well on that left-hand side to them, to be fair. Good ball into the box. Cleared away by Paik. Needs to suck up a bit of the pressure and hopefully get something away from this. Bakuna. That'd be a blues throw, wouldn't it? Yep, there we go. Uh, Maxwell says we go. They go down today if they lose. So that will probably, yeah. Twenty one. I was trying to do some mental maths there. Right? I thought, no, I'll give up. Can't even be asked. Laird coming across nicely there. Stopping chair very well. Pake on the spin. Loads of players jumping on him there, to be fair. And then Ayuru gives away the foul. Apparently, we go into the bottom three if Wednesday are winning. Yeah, 
they do because they're only a point up us, aren't they? Oh, yeah, we are. Oh, I didn't even realise that. Bollocks. That's really shit, actually. Because their, their goal difference is fucking terrible compared to ours. Yeah, that puts us in the bottom three. I did not... Re- I forgot about that. Uh, just before the QPR free kick, thanks to Ganto. He says, uh, thanks a million for doing these watch-alongs. As a Blues fan in Ireland, I can only get to a few games a season. Never, They're never on the telly and BBC W Road. Uh, WM, don't listen, let us listen. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, uh, we'll be bringing as many more of these as we can, mate. Uh, so thank you for your comments and uh, thank you for tuning in again. Uh, still nil-nil here at Loftus Road between Blues and QPR. We've had a fairly decent last 10 minutes, but QPR seems to be ending the half a little bit better than us. They've had probably a, the more uh, better half, obviously. And obviously with Wednesday winning, it does drop us into the bottom three. So... Yeah, I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> I can't lie. Flicked in and cleared by Iwu. Yeah, I didn't even know that. I, I can't believe I didn't know that as well, to be fair. But straight in towards the box. Good save by Ruddy. If we concede here or anywhere in the game whilst they're still winning. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, Ryan is right, though. If we do score, we jump straight up to 18th. But... We do need to. That's the thing. We, we yeah, can't really. We gotta do on. something. We should the fucking do though, which is score. I know. It makes that game against Preston massive again now. It's it's how relegation battles are though, isn't it? It's like y- you're fine at one point, one goal goes up in another game, and then you're in need of a massive result. So it's just how it goes, you know. In two games' time, we could be fine. Yeah. That's why there's so much back and forth on Twitter and social media is because everybody's saying like, oh, don't need to worry. And then some people are saying we do need to worry. But it's just how the relegation battles are, you know. Maxwell says it'd be a route masterclass shit house a 1-0 away win, wouldn't it just? Lovely play from back here, though, to keep it in. And nicely into Tyler Roberts, who can find a little bit of room to give it back to Bakuna. His cross is blocked. He goes out for a blue throat. Shit out the corner on the stroke of half time. You would love to see it. Just keep keep it in, keep it up here till half time at least. Fucking go in, go in at least at the nil nil lot. That's something. Mm. Push for the second half. We've had glimpses of quality here in this half. Like Jay's one on one, you know. But again, I don't recall Begovic having to make a save. Roberts. Oh, he's got a bit of a trip oh, there. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'll have to see the replay. Didn't it wasn't as obvious as Stansfields against Millwall. Sanderson can hopefully clear up. He can. Well done. Don't know. Let's have a look at that replay when they um when they reshow it. Laid up towards Bakuna. I don't. It's probably not going to come to anything really. I don't know. One of I don't think the referee want to play too much more added time. Our fullbacks aren't the tallest, but you know what? They win, especially Led, wins his fair amount of aerial battles. Mm. I mean, Led, I'm not being funny, mate, but it's now two minutes over the time. I'm like, come on. Because he's going to blow up. And he has. <laughs> Half time here, Blues nil, uh, QPR nil at Loftus Road. Uh, we'll be back with some first half analysis right after a uh, word from our sponsors. This video is brought to you by Voxy, the pay-as-you-go mobile network that gives you unlimited social media for as little as £10 a month. Sign up today using the link in the description to stop eating your data away while on the move. Voxy has got you covered with unlimited social media, video and music, all with 5G ready in every Voxy plan. And you'll also get a free £20 PayPal, Just Eat or Amazon voucher. So be sure to sign up today. Now, back to the video. So nil nil here at half time at Loftus Road. Uh, players making their way back down the tunnel. Jamie, what do you think to the first half there? I mean, it's a standard away performance, isn't it? Don't fucking lose is the concept here, and that's fine. Uh, you spanner in the work has now appeared though, because Sheffield Wednesday have started to take the lead. Great. Mm. I still think there's hope to win this game. I think it's very winnable. I think they don't look great. Uh, if you just get someone to double foot chair second half, that'd be wonderful. Um, Shouldn't be playing anyway. <laughs> we move, we move um, is what it is. I think I think this is winnable. I think you know we've had moments where we look good. I think our midfield's better than their midfield, and I think that's why mm. a lot of games are won. A man for man, you can argue that Pate, Backer, and B Licker are better than what they're deploying. Really, chairs the issue. I think Led's done a good job against them so far. I think Aru's doing really well at coming out and winning the ball back as well. 
Dion soon. So, uh, man for man, I think we're doing all right. Drame's a bit of a weak link today, which is surprising. I think he's lost the ball a fair amount of times up the left. But it's not his natural. I don't know, yeah. So I'm willing to forgive him. Mm, yeah, fair enough. I, I, I don't know. I up for it. Yeah, I think we've all looked up for it. I think it's just moments in the game where we don't seem as on top as we probably should be. Um, you know, it, it's like I was saying in the first half, when it? it's like that 15 to 30 minute mark. We don't seem to really have, um, we seem to fall out of the game a little bit and allow them to have more of the pressure and more of the ball and everything. And then we pick it up. You know, we're very much a first and end of the half type of team where, you know, that middle bit of the game, we just don't seem to, we don't seem to stay on top really. There's a lot of space in this game as well. If you notice, like, when we're getting the ball back, Bielik won the ball back in the first half. And it, I know it was on the edge of his own half, but he had 30 yards of space. They're the kind of, this could be a Koji kind of game where Koji comes on, he can turn on that space and drive. Because mm. Koji, if he's good at anything, it's on the ball, he'll move with it. That is true. Causes I mean, issues to teams. Yeah, R- R- Richard probably sort of back up, backs up your point there by saying Robert seems to lack the quality and composure when he gets the chance. So uh, obviously he's been working very hard in this first half, but like you said, with Miyashi there, he possibly could be like giving that bit more quality, that edge really. I, I'm on my phone, so I'm struggling to see comments, but whoever's just commented saying JJ and Dembele is a threat off the, on the coming on, agree a million percent. So mm. Inky Dembele, Koji Miyoshi, maybe even throw a Hogan out there for the work rate. That could be a that could be a problem second half of QPR. I'm going to quickly make a cup of coffee, Tommy. Is that all right? <laughs> I will take over whilst you're uh... very very tired. Back in <laughs> See, you haven't got your mum to go and give you a cup of tea, have you? No, I'm an adult. Anyway, <laughs> back in a minute. Uh, bigger mum, mum. Um, yeah, first half, I thought we played okay in parts, really. We just, I, I personally think, I don't know what you guys think in the comments. Um, be sure, that, uh, By the way, actually, be sure to get your uh, comments in because we'll, I will be reading these out. Um, but we just don't seem to have that middle bit of the half right. You know, we don't seem quite in control. Um, you know, we seem to be losing the ball very cheaply, very much like on the back foot. But then start of the game, it looked okay. And then end of the half looked all right as well. You know, we had that big chance with Stansfield. Um, probably took a bit too much of a bigger touch in the end and just got away from him. But yeah, I think it's okay so far. Um, hopefully, you just need a goal, get us out of this relegation zone. Um, yeah, I mean, it wasn't as... I don't know, It's it's it doesn't feel as much of a threat this one does with being in the goal down. Um, it, it was, though, the other night. I can't remember what game it was. I think it was the whole game a couple of games ago because obviously we were a goal down at that point and playing really shit. And I think Wednesday were winning that put us into the bottom three or Huddersfield. It was one of the two. Um, so, yeah, it's it's nothing to threat about too much. But if we do go a goal down, then we'll worry because Preston are beating Rotherham. And even though it is Rotherham, they are still keeping up the form that they're in. They are into ninth at the moment. So they only sit two points behind. So they probably will be up for that game, really. Um, let's have a quick read of some of the comments. Full stands for vision. Zero, he can't pass all season. Play Duke, Dembele and Koji. Can't play a poacher up front on his own. Good point, actually. I do agree with that. I think, um, he, he, I don't know whether it's because he's been a bit uh, exhausted, really, Stansfield this season, because he has had like a full, full-on full season as well in the Championship and he hasn't had that before. Um, so really, he might just be a little bit tired. He might be, he, he might still be up for it and I'm sure he is um, he might just not be able to keep it up though because it's, it's it's a tricky league at the best of times but particularly when this is your first season and you're the sole striker like you say um, I agree so maybe um, a Dembele or Koji is Duke on the bench I have not checked the team today um, no he's not so it's Hogan who might be making way of um, Europe for having Stansfield coming off uh charlie says don't look in the table i know we already have um it is a depressing sight to be honest um yeah be sure to get your uh, comments in the chat about the first half uh what do you what do you all think to um tyler roberts as well he's been um very up for it today David says it starts. It stands for starting to drift out of it. His with his scoring form, similar to Hogan with his goals where he, when he was on loan. Then after the lack of goals, yeah, I think um, it's a very uh, good comparison actually because they are they are quite similar to that. I was watching um, a few. I was watching the goals that Hogan scored when he first arrived, when he had the number forty and long hair, um, and he was you know fantastic. You know like. Darsing about kind of like how Stansfield is really so I, I agree with that um, comparison 
Um, I think that is quite right. Uh, we go down if we stick with Stansfield. Must be contracts with Fulham. Uh, he's a super sub. No way, centre forward. He's just pissing me off for these last 10 games. Yeah, I, I, I get what you mean. I do. I don't, I don't want to criticise him, though, because he's still a young kid. And he's done fantastically for his first season and never been really a championship striker before. So he's definitely been up for it. So he, he just might be a bit um, a bit exhausted coming the end of the season. But it's where we are at the moment. So it's a bit of a tough situation we, we can sort of try and find to put him in. Um Chris says Tyler Roberts is grafting what we need from our lads. Absolutely, I agree. Um, he's just lacked a little bit of that composure and that quality on the ball. Uh, they are re showing the Stansfield opportunity from the first half. Yeah, the ball just gets away from him. But yeah, the, Tyler Roberts had a chance, a fair few chances. Most of them were a few wild ones, but the, his best chance of the half definitely came from when Paik and Drama were playing nicely. Um, and he just he tries to go for a side foot and he should go for his laces, use the power head down as hard as he can, try and throw it back in towards that front post area. And he takes it far too casually for my liking. And so he tries to take it on the inside of his foot and the, the effort just sort of spoons off his foot out for a throw for QPR. They, they, they're showing it here. So Pake plays it nicely into drama, takes a touch in behind. Pake, by the way, has played absolutely fantastically. Left-footed pass back to Roberts on the edge of the box, free as a bird. Takes it with the inside of his foot and it goes awfully wide out for a throw. It's just like... Use your laces, man, honestly. like That's what you need in those situations. It would have been perfect to have rounded off a great move. Very disappointing. Uh, QPR have had a fair few chances. They've never been ones that like really challenging. Um, their best chance of the half has definitely come from um, Elias Chair in the first half. His header was free as again, but then really got down to make a really good save. Um, but yeah, aside from that, nothing too much to shout about in terms of opportunities. Blues, I don't think we've... Oh, God, I really don't want to say we haven't had a shot on target, but I'm not too sure, really. Let's have a look. Shots on target, zero. Fuck's sake. What's the matter with us? Why can't we have a shot on the target? Fuck me. Uh, David Lewis says, I have thought we might be in the bottom three with Sheffield Wednesday going above us, but I expected no other teams around us to pick up a win, so we haven't lost much ground as such. Yeah, that is probably true. Um Rant over. Uh, I give I give him as a kid, but bad management to proceed with him. He needs two striker formation, please. Uh, switch to Koji or Duke or Dembele. Um, yeah, Duke, Duke is out today, so it would be Hogan if he's going to have two sat alongside him. Um, but yeah, it's one of those, really. What do you make to um, Stansfield so far, Jamie? <laughs> You're on mute. <laughs> Hi. He hasn't got the ball enough. And then when he has got the ball, he's obviously... It was unlucky, the Begovic one-on-one. -on -one. Like, like I said, Begovic is 6 foot 8 He's a ginormous shit out of a goalkeeper, isn't he? So when you're running yeah, at him true. and he spreads himself, you got to try and take the touch in theory. Obviously, to the right, he's got he's got Roberts for a tapping, but you're not, you're, your main focus there is, can I get to the fucking ball? Can I get it around the keeper quickly? Mm. He's got it around the keeper. And then, to be fair, QBR defended that well and got back in numbers sharp. Do you think his pressure has been as usual? No, but I think this is what happens when he goes to under twenty ones every time. He's, you know, he he grabs his ass off, grabs his ass off of the under twenty ones, come back and he's ballots clearly. He's shattered. Mm. I'd probably deploy a Hogan second half just because Hogan's going to give you one thing: it's work right, You'll run his ballots off. Mm. Maybe, yeah. Uh, I suppose with his like, like you say, exhaustion perhaps or could be one ballet. of the things. Yeah, I think that Bell is probably better choice really because you can keep Stansfield on and move him into a different position. Um, but yeah, um, a couple of other things that were mentioned here. Um, is, I don't know. Is it much of a worry that we're in the bottom three right now compared to where we were? Uh, in, we knew this was, was going to happen. Do you think? And we, we knew that teams around us always get results. It's, we need to start worrying about other teams now and worry about us. We're at that point now where we've just got to get points now and get results. We're not losing. This is the thing. Everyone today, if you would turn around and go, right, we're not going to lose today. Brilliant. That's fine. Focus on pressing home. Like I said, four points out of the next two gives me hope. Good mm. hope. That's fine. Okay. You know, yeah. If you beat QPR, draw against Preston, ideally, I think we need to make the Fortress St. Andrews back, though. And I feel like at home, row it's going to muster wins. Well, you would definitely hope that because we've hardly had any of good home games in the last four or five, haven't we, really? So I, I do agree with that. I think, though, like if Wednesday wins today and we get a draw, is that still a good outcome? 
I think it stops the rut of 1-0 losses. Mm. The first thing's first, you need to build the confidence again. If you build the confidence in defence again, you get a better chance. Don't you kind of go, right, we've stopped losing games now. Mm. I mean, we haven't really done anything stupid at the back so far this half. And we've stopped giving teams 1-0 leads. This is the yeah. exact replica of the Watford game, apart from against Watford, we gave fucking Emmanuel Dennis a one-on-one for no apparent reason. Yeah, it does have similar vibes, yeah. I know what you mean by that. Do you know what I mean? Like, we give teams... Maxwell, obviously, he's been writing in the pod, obviously, I sit next to Max for a lot of the games and stuff as well, and Max says it, we gift teams... one. We're starting the game at a disadvantage because we're just fucking gifting teams consistently 1-0 leads. Here you go. Yeah. Here's, here's a shit goal for you. Have it. Mm, no team gives us one nil leads. When was the last time we we got on someone's fatal error at the back? The last one that I recall was probably Stoke away when Hogan took it round the keeper from the Jaggy Alka back pass. <laughs> I don't think it was that long ago, really. That's the last one I recall, that's what I mean. My memory isn't fantastic, but yeah. not when I can think about a genuine bollocks up that we've took advantage of and actually, you know Maybe Preston earlier on in the season. Do you remember Stansfield's goal away? That was, no, that was good play from us, though. That was a good ball in. Was it? Nutmeg the cent- yeah, he, he took a touch, nutmeg the centre-back and then put it in the top corner. Yeah. If anybody knows like a good goal that we've capitalised from this season, um, or the most recent one, sorry, uh, let us know in the comments because we can't think of which one's which. Um, uh, someone's saying, good good to see Roberts on the touchline as well. Uh, Robinson's on the touchline as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, damn He's, right. Uh, if anyone's going to get a tune out of them centre-backs and anyone's going to know what it means, it's... We called it, didn't we? As soon as Robert came in, I said to him, oh, wait, Robert, yeah. Coming. Yeah, like, Are you sure that I'm telling you now, Robert mm. is walking in with him? It's lovely oh, to yeah. see. We've had him on the podcast a couple of times, and every time he's been an absolute gent. Didn't we say to so. him last time? Like, so we'd love to have you back at the club one day. And he was like, yeah, maybe. It'd be great to come mm. Let's get him on at the end of the season if we can. Robo. That would be great, yeah. It'd be good to have a good chat at the end of the season with him. Um, but yeah, he's a top bloke. We really like him. Um, like really nice, man. Definitely. What have you thought to Tyler Roberts first half? I think he's worked hard. He definitely looks like a striker who's lacking the confidence. Sorry, I'm blanking the same guy. He looks like a striker <laughs> who's lacking him. confidence. <laughs> um, but I think he, he's working hard. He's grafting. He's doing everything but score a goal, mm. which is ideal, but not ideal because we struggle to score goals. So I think they, there could be a beautiful partnership with him and Duke because mm. he's definitely got the legs to work off of Djokovic. It. Yeah, you you eat your eat your vegan meat. <laughs> That's it. Come on, yum yum. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Shut up. Nom, nom. Me and my Greg's vegan sausage roll. Yum yum yum. They are about to be fair. Those Greg's sausage rolls. <laughs> well, what? they are good. They're it's nice. Not yeah. a steak bake. <laughs> yeah, but it's not something that Hello, was alive before. <laughs> um. Let's have a few more reads. I'll shut up. Um, The Dion Sanderson goal against West Brom. I don't know. Was that one against... Was that a capitalised one we made from him? I don't think it was. It might be. No, it was a header. It wasn't so so much a mistake. It was a corner cleared, back out to drama. The mistake probably... Yeah, it wasn't a mistake. I think what we're trying to find is ones that have been... Where like, we're doing, been, like an Iwu like, one, basically. Yeah, like Iwu the other week. Like we don't have that happen to us very often at all. And in terms of this season, we've had we've done it so many times. Like we did it against Plymouth, we did it against Watford, we did it in the um, game against. Uh, we probably did it a couple of times against Southampton as well, but far too many times this season we've just been very poor at the back and very inconsistent. Um, but yeah. Uh, just a reminder for anybody who's interested in knowing where we're watching it. We're watching it on Blows TV. Um, yeah, just the standard stuff really today. Players are coming back out onto the tunnel, uh, out of the tunnel. Uh, I was about to say, have we got the lower tier at Loftus Road there? But no, there's um, QPR fans. We never get it anymore, do we? Uh, but yeah, Janinia Bakuna to get us kicking off again. Blues are in black. QPR are in their normal home kit colours. Uh, Blues are kicking from right to left. And circle as well. <laughs> we are literally, uh, yeah. I think we're about to get back under a way here. Um, good, big, big second half ahead of us here at Loftus Road. Uh, let me just get the timer so it's all in correct order. Bakuna getting on the ball very early on here. To be fair to him. Oh, good idea. Oh come on, you 
piece of shit. Let me see. There we go. Perfect. Um, <laughs> Boost TV working is actually a good thing. <laughs> They are trying with it, to be fair to them, and I know they have got a very limited budget to work with, um, and they have over the last few years in particular. So uh, fair play to them for sticking at it. Um, how we've been playing, says Joe. Uh, standard away performance so far. Um, you know, nothing too much we're to shout right, about. Man. Yeah, we we're just need right. a goal and a shot on target at least because we're, we're literally we've lacked it really. And Tyler Roberts has looked up for it, just perhaps lacks a bit of quality and composure at times. Stansfield doesn't look quite as... Um, energetic as he has done in the past few uh, months and stuff like that. But yeah, it, it's stand, standard stuff, really. Blue's giving the free kick away and QPR's trying to get You're not, You've booked Laird for that. Are you joking me? Piss off. He's what gone for the ball, man. Well, he is going okay, in quite not, late, to be it's fair. It's not a great tackle. Yeah, but that happened to Tyler Roberts in the first half. And he just it got did, yeah. Game. It did, yeah. I don't like I don't like defenders being books, man. That's not never a good. Laird seems like the kind of guy who's got his head screwed on that. Says, yeah, says that before it happens. Long ball over the top. Elix should deal with this. Terrible touch though. Goal kick though. Oh. Well done. <laughs> David says that. I expected the liner to go corner. Yeah, that would have been typical. David says, "I hope the uh, hope the black kit isn't mourning for our championship status." <laughs> It's almost like as silly as having undefeated on your fucking jackets at the start of the season and then going, oh, wait. Well, we were undefeated towards the start of the season, to be fair. We yeah. just buggered it up with Rooney. Chair on this left-hand side, whips it straight in towards the box, head of, over the top in the end. Hmm. Tia says, I hate when we put training goals up at half-time. We never seem to score any on match day. Don't even hit the bloody target at the moment. It is literally just the final product, isn't it? Everything else isn't that bad. It's the reason we are in this mess is because we don't score enough goals and don't take enough chances. You know, it's just it's one of those where we we, we have great opportunities. And Tyler Roberts won in the first half is a perfect example. Tries far too casually to take it on. Just needs to smack it, in my opinion. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. We look up for it though. We don't look. Um... I feel like Back has finally got a partner he can play ball with as well. Like him and Pace oh, yeah. having a fun time in the middle of the park. They look good Back together. To be fair. Mm, I agree. Pake doing some nice pressing as well from the front. Stansfield's see there that that wouldn't have been Stansfield oh, earlier yeah. in the season. Yeah, that wouldn't have been him. Up towards Buchanan winning the header very nicely into Bielik, bringing it down very comfortably. Switches it into Bakuna. Lads alongside him, and he gives it to him. See what I mean? Like first half, first start the first half, very comfortable, very good. Start the second half, look great again. Ball through to Roberts. If he can get on the end of it, he has. He has. Ball back for drama. Oh. The ball wasn't quite good enough. Bakuna on the end of it. He's got his shot away, and it's oh. been headed away by Cook. It sort of hit him in the face. That was on target, hundred percent. Yeah. Good work from Tyler Roberts, though. Pass to drama wasn't particularly great. Um. Has that not been given as our throw? What? This is a terrific ball from Bakuna. He looks really up for it today, him and Roberts. Roberts gets on the end of it. The pass is a bit crap, but drama keeps it alive. Bakuna takes a shot and Steve Cook's in the way. What's it? I don't know how we've not ended up with the throw there. I don't know why. The, the camera's cut way too early, so I couldn't see what was going on there. Bakuna nonetheless gets it back to John Ruddy. He's given offside anyway. Ref's going to be like, oh, oh fucking hell, ref, let's finish. carry on, man. Yeah, it was offside, we know, but we had the ball anyway to carry on. We're moving it back down the right hand side to get it forward again, you fucking idiot. God's sake. Oh, and then fucking Iwu gives it away for Pasta Bielik, and now they're in. Oh, and they've messed that one up really badly there. Both of us, both teams don't seem to have the killer edge at the moment. Really hope we capitalise yeah, on there that. is a time and a place to try roulette to make <laughs> QPR players pressing you is not the fucking time or the place, lad. <laughs> None of that. You're not Bakuna.
Oh, and a terrible kick from Ruddy there. What on earth was that? Take again, good pressing. Yeah, very nice, that is, yeah. That's it, Jay, that's it. Run at him. It's better, yeah, that is much better. Tyler Roberts is back out here on the left, though. He was on the right earlier on, and now he's back in the back on the left, and he's pressing there. He's won a free kick for QPR. And a book in as well. What the fuck? See, that's, that, that annoys me about referees, is the fact they'll let everything that? else slide. It's probably an accumulation, but there's, there's no fucking yellow card there. What's he done? He's literally done nothing. If anything, he's been smacked in the face by him trying to push him off him. I, honest, I don't get the referee's decisions, honestly. They need to just... <laughs> See, I, I, I don't want to have a go at them too much, but fuck me, that's just dumb. That I is. don't. Fuck them. This shit. <laughs> Floated in towards the back post, headed down, and there's a chance here, and he smacked it wide. He has taken a deflection and corner for QPR. Who was that there? Field with a big right. chance there for QPR. He's nodded down from the ball in. He's free as well. It does. It oh, takes Bielek. a brilliant deflection off yeah. Bielek. Fuck me, that was lucky. That, 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 that definitely might have hit his hand, but... but no, I don't fucking care, honestly. I, don't, I think as he's turning away, it might suddenly come off yeah. his shoulder. But it's a it's an important block anyway. It was heading towards the goal yeah. that was. Come on, Blues. It's that famous thing though, and it you're away from home, boring nil nil. You know they were going to come out far in second half. You've just got to wither the storm a little bit here. John Ruddy comes back. out and gets it though. That's very good. That's what we like to see. And he goes along with a throw up towards Stansfield. Can he do some nice pressing from the front? He can. Stansfield, he's got Bakuna running alongside him and he's got Tyler Roberts towards the back post. Pake is also making a run towards the back post. Stansfield's looking a bit cornered here, though. He could do with some help from Bakuna, at least. He has managed to get hold of the ball. Nice little oh. feet. Left-footed shot towards goal. Good save by Begovic. Shot on Nothing target. Really. We've at least got a shot on target. You are right. Fucking hell. Terrible effort in the end, really. Good, nice feet, but bad effort. Yeah, never trouble. See, and like I said earlier, there's a time and a place to roulette the ball. That is the time to do a roulette. <laughs> You're all right with that. Bakuna trying to get it back to Laird. It's a bit too much of a stretch in the end. And Chair can come away with the ball for QPR. He's looking for the switch as well, which I think he's going to just about get it over the... Yeah. Oh, no. Blues will be happy with that. Oh, is that... Um, which Willock is that? Because he's the old Arsenal player, I know that much. Did he's um, Chris Willock. Who did he used to play for? He used... Did he used to play for Newcastle? I can't remember now. Uh, he started at Arsenal, went to Benfica B, Huddersfield, yeah, and then um, QPR, where he's been ever since 2020. Seems a decent player, to be fair to him, doesn't he? Cannon goes down again with a head injury. Still going down, actually. And yet, they're playing on. Oh, no, 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 no. It's about to say, fucking hell. You can't... QPR are crying their eyes out about that, but in the first half, we played him getting hit in the fucking head, and they called it when we had four players running at him. So, mm. do one. Oh, just smashed him in the face there, and it looked. Oh. And that from Dion, I like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, don't try and take a touch. Don't mess about with it. The ball's bouncing. Just, just kick it. Just send it. Fine. I'll be. I'm very interested to see the subs that Rowett brings on. Go on, Jay. Ref. That's Great Stansfield and then Bakunin was going to about to carry on, but. Yeah, definitely Blues can really argue with that one. Oh yeah, of course, he goes down because he's found him and it's a yellow card. He's staying on the floor for a bit longer. I mean, you can stay down on the floor all you want. You're still getting standing on your feet to a yellow card, lad. <laughs> right. 
Man has a heart attack after he does the worst challenge ever. <laughs> Marcy's been wheeled off to hospital. He's just like, red card. <laughs> Get well soon, son. Hope you make it through. You, you, your little soldier. By the way, it was a red card. <laughs> just wakes up. You know. Yeah, I was meant to give this to you when earlier. Yeah, it's his yellow card. Wow. See, that's better play from Sansfield, isn't it? He's just winded himself. Stanfield fell on top of him. He's just he's been hitting the stone and winded himself a little bit. I thought that yeah, that is true. I mean, who's that? They've got warmed up there. Yeah, the big guy behind him. Yeah. Let's have a look. Um, I need a proper stand for my phone to be on when I'm doing this. Uh, it looks like Armstrong Sinclair Armstrong to come on. How many goals has he got this season, just for comparison? Uh, player profile. Three goals this season, three assists in 31 games for QPR. Um, yeah. <laughs> Might be one that we look, need to look, look at. Look at the commitment of the ref. He still stood there with the yellow in his hand. He's going, nope, you get this. A proper time wasting here anyway, isn't they? Fuck me, get on with it. Bertie also, asked, the rule of football here, mate, if it's an head injury, you've got to go off the fucking pitch for two minutes, lads. So on you, off you fuck. Yeah, I don't think it is, though. It's just one of those winded ones. Uh, Bertie asked, will anybody else take a point right now? I think perhaps, yeah. it's Even though we are still in the bottom three by us, things stands, I don't think it would be the end of the world. Um, but yeah. You have to then. assume at some point Sheffield are going to cut this up, though, as well. Like, I, think, I, feel I hate that, though. I hate that. I really do. Oh, I, I hate it as well, and I don't like being in this predicament, but... I mean, let's be honest, this is Rowett Ball now. Like, how blue is it going to be to finish 17th now and just be back at home again? Do you know what I mean? Well, we got to hope that's going to happen because it's not going the way at the moment. We are going to go down by the way things are going. We've got to, um, we've really got to stick at this, you know. Oh, this stand is shite. 50, uh, no, it wasn't 50 quid. The other thing was 50 quid. 30 quid, this was. It's meant to be a suction cup for like your, uh, Recording device. I was going to try it when I was um, filming a vlog the other day, and I went for a test drive of it. It was made. It's, it's basically. It, it, it looks like this. It's like a proper weird Dalek looking thing. I mean, yeah. You meant to fit your GoPro to it, but it, it doesn't fucking stick to anything. Thirty so quid down the drain. It's not very good. I mean, we're, we're all a bit tight for money at the moment as well. <laughs> oh yes. Thank you, the government, for. Uh, Still keeping us in a living cost of living crisis. Whilst we can't even afford petrol for the football. Brought down by Bakuna and Buk uh, Pate trying to take a shot and he pulled out of that. He should have gone for it. Back into Bakuna. Bakuna with the left footer chance and then Stansfield oh, in behind. In. Uh, is that, is oh, I thought that went in for a split second. Uh, it's not. I think he might have been offside anyway. I don't oh. think he's on, you know. Well, Pate definitely should have taken that chance because even though had it, it might not have got. Yeah, he's definitely. Oh, he's well Oh, it's a shocking finish. Awful finish. Sure. Lovely from Bakuna. Lovely little roll in, and then the fucking chance there. Oh, rubbish. Better Jack though, Colback better. coming on for QPR. Um, I don't know. Is Sinclair Armstrong still making his way on? I think he is. They've uh, made the substitution. Um, and they brought off what's his face. I remember his name now. Frey, yeah. Sinclair Armstrong's coming on, and so is Jack Colback for QPR. Robert's losing out there. QPR throw. The later on it gets, though, the more I worry. That's why I feel like we need a goal now because it's going to end up as one of those games, isn't it, where we're going to have to sit back for the last 15 minutes. I just don't think we've got the legs to carry on in the way that we go in. Even with the substitutes, I still think we're pinned towards the back here. Mm. If they get a goal here, then I really do worry for us. Willock on this right-hand side, he's trying to get past Bielik. He does, and the ball into the box is there as well. It's a high one. Chairs trying to battle with Laird. Laird's won the header. I was header's terrible. On the drop. Fucking hell. He should have taken that one much better, Elias Chair. Sure. 
surely Ruddy's got to probably come out and claim that. It's so high in the air. Mm, it's one of those because the sun's quite low as well, and there's a lot of yeah. It's very sunny. I would probably has that issue as well, but the head is terrible, and, I, and chair slashes at that. See, in the first half with the Tyler Roberts chance, he should have taken those laces like Chair does there. But Chair should do the placement role with that, you know, because yeah. if it comes down, it's dropping down. The, the power on the balls already, you know, he just needs to place it. Steve Cook with the clearance. Keep your can come away. Blues can get the ball back here, though. Yeah. It's Bealik, Bakuna on the run. He's got Laird to his right, which he finds. He's got three in the middle here. Stansfield's at the back, Roberts and Bakuna, and Paker's joining in towards the back. Led into Bakuna. Bakuna's shots get in. Yeah, fucking get in. One nil Blues. Come on. What a finish from Janina Bakuna. Got that phone as well. It's getting on my nerves. Get in. Fucking brilliant finish. Get what in, the back Bakuna. What a finish that is. It's about time we had a goal like that as well. Honestly, we've had it all oh. game. All game. That opportunity is broken up. I said, well, you know when teams score against us, i.e. the Riley McGree goal the other week, and it absolutely thundered in the top corner? Yeah. All our goals roll across the line. I said, I want to see one just hit the back of the net, ripple it. Yeah. Yes. Lovely yes. finish from Bakuna, that is. Man. As soon as he picks up the ball, he's got he's just so exciting, isn't he? Like he just picks it up, he drives at teams. Led on the on the right hand side, lays it back, free as a bird, lovely placement into what the top finish. corner. Oh, Get in. Wow. Perfect. Right at the right time. I was just saying it, wasn't I? We needed a goal. And that there. Lovely, uh, lovely finish. I agree with the placement. The inside of the foot placement there is perfect for that goal. Didn't need too much power. Just needed to guide it into the near post. Well in, Backer. He's played fantastic oh, today as well. He's been unreal. And we've Him been and saying Pate. for weeks, the free roll. He is the boy. For Him the and Pake role. have been great, haven't they? Uh, unreal. Right, Come on, the boys. This is... Come on, this is a weird position for us now. <laughs> We're winning. Get in, Blues. Stansfield's looking up for it now as Go well. On. Here comes Tyler Roberts. He's got Bakuna as well in the middle again. Still a Go chance on. here. These are rocks. Blues pressing there. well now here. Well done from Stansfield. Fantastic on, play. On, and Blues with a throw Love as that. well. Brilliant. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh. Looking up for it now, ain't we? <laughs> Just, 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 where's that put us in the lead position, Tommy? Just, yeah. It puts us, let's have a quick look whilst I fuck around with my phone. Puts us 19th in 42 points above Stoke as well. So we're dragging them into it as well. Wednesday are still out of the bottom three. That drops QPR into the bottom three, actually. So that'd be brilliant. Laird's got a hold of it here. Oh, oh nearly. Okay. Yeah, QPR drop into the bottom three on 40 on minus 15. So yeah, that puts them right into the it's positions stupid. now. Fantastic. Come on, the Blues. It's a big win now, this is. Wrestling there. Sanderson you brings down Zarko. Dion, that's Armstrong. fine. If you, Dion, take that there. You take yeah, that. That's fine. I agree. Woo! That's what you want from your cats in. Right, he's turned us. All right, fuck it. Take him down. Cool. <laughs> and he's fair. That is six to one half a dozen of the other, that, though. Because he is... I mean, that happens to Djukovic week in, week out. Oh, yeah. And never give him. Yeah, he's true. Brazilian Djukovic, like I said, mate, he just gets absolutely choked out every week and they're just fine <laughs> with it. I mean, we are... Right, Led, mate, you need to calm your tits because you're on a yellow. You need to stop like, snapping people now. Mm, no, it's true. Look at that. Oh, that could have been a second yellow very easily, Tommy. <laughs> I'm not saying it should be, but we know what officials are like. Yeah. It, 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 had, had that been towards the end of the game, I think they would have given that one. You know what I mean? Yeah, we really need to hold on to this now. It's a massive win, this is. Bottom three is Rotherham, Huddersfield and QPR. Ball in towards the back post and the free kick is brought down. Shot towards goal. It's blocked. Shot again. Oh, and it's gone in. Fucking bollocks, man. 1-1. One, one. Steve Cook scored. Right yeah. as we needed the fucking points and they go and get you an equaliser. It's always going to happen. Why are nobody fucking marking that? It's just he so easily brings it down. Fuck's sake, what are we doing there? That drops us back into the bottom three. See, this this championship relegation, isn't it? It's it's fucking it's gonna be like this until the end of the season. Terrible defending from blues. And it takes a deflection off Iwu in. Iwu. Back into the bottom three then. Fantastic. It's just gonna be one of those days. 
Oh, for fuck's sake. Why are we so like this, honestly? It's a, there's no danger, is there? You just need to clear it. The first clearance is bad, but never mind. The block there, but nobody's following up. I root, man, honestly, fuck's sake. Was that going wide as well? Might have been, yeah. I don't know. I don't want to blame anybody either, though, but it's just oh, no, it's I'm not frustrating. It's an unfortunate circumstance. Oh. My 1-1's one, on at the moment, that's for sure. Bakuna going in strong there. He's won that well, to be fair. Oh, it's an atmospheric game now. I mean, with that Wednesday goal, that fucking hell, this game is really tight, honestly. So, uh, to put this into perspective for people who haven't got the table on them, uh, Blackburn 18th on 42 with minus 13 goal difference. Stoke 19th on minus 18 on 42. QPR 20th now, minus 14 goal difference, 41 points. Sheffield Wednesday 21st, minus 30 on 41. Blues 22nd into the bottom three, minus 17 on 40. 23rd is Huddersfield on minus 21 goal difference, 39 points. So it is massively open still. And Blues need a goal again. We were in front, we needed just to have a few minutes just to relax and recuperate. We uh, just didn't work as well though Bakuna into the box Stansfield picking it up trying to get a shot off corner Go for on Blues on. also work for her I'll again here now, on now mm. oh, fucking hell. read it in our grasp as hey, well listen, we, scored. we broke the one duck of scoring a fucking goal again at least he did go goal 67th minute here Paik on corner kick duty yeah typical Blues isn't it pinball defending <laughs> a lot of metaphors flying around in the uh, in the chat here. Hopefully, Blues can get an equaliser here. Referee's fucking stopping the game again. What oh, for? Ref, can you stop making this shit about yourself now and just let us play ball? Come on. Oh, mate. Honestly, why are you even talking to them about? Don't hold on to each other. Let them hold on to us. Fucking give us a penalty. Pake with the right foot out, swinger. Ball goes in. Ethan Laird's heading towards it. Oh, doesn't quite get any good contacts. Goal kick. Bollocks. 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 Still 20 minutes. Bollocks. QPR look like they want this point more than us, though. Hang like about. They know. Oh, no. no they start losing. Sorry, I thought this one's going to equalise them. Like, they know that if we beat them, they're in the shit. Hmm. It's such a shame that Duke is injured now because this game is working up perfectly for him. Here come Blues again, though. Bakuna into Laird on the right hand side. Taking acres next to you. Pushing him right back into the box. He's got Roberts in the middle, so is Stansfield. Drama's at the back post. Swung in and then Drama. Yeah. No, Roberts couldn't quite go on the end of it. He goes straight into, comfortably into Begovic's hands. Yeah, this is so Blues look, honestly. Oh, what slow. Oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck you. <sighs> Fucking fuck's sake. That isn't good, you know, because that they're a team who I think we still could have caught, but we were above them two minutes ago. Literally, this is like, honestly, for people who don't know what um, relegation form is like, this is it. We were a goal off before they, in like, what, the 63rd minute? About seven minutes later, we are fucking in the bottom three and Stoke are pulling away now we were above them a couple of minutes ago it's so fucking typical honestly there is no way you are one crying about that and two that is your throw drama did not win the ball there and he's been out he's bleeding he's been elbowed in the fucking face ref this has happened far too often today look at that bastard in the crowd there 
<laughs> Giving it the big one. Yeah, he's elbowed him. Like, Isn't that like three Hodges times today? <laughs> Isn't that three times has somebody been like an arm in the face today? Yeah, he's caught his lip and everything. Well, he's smashed his lip open. No yellow card. Brilliant. Oh, is he making him go off the pitch to fix it as well? Oh, right. Fantastic. <sighs> what the fuck, referee? Honestly, you're having a mare at the moment. That's not a foul. Oh, I knew he'd give it as well. Fuck's sake. <sighs> Get fucking frustrated now. Yeah, literally. Wednesday are winning. Stoke are winning. Honestly, if Huddersfield suddenly gets something from that game, I'm going to be fucking furious. They're 2-0 down. They shouldn't be doing anything, but we can't lose now. That's the thing. Because at the moment, we are still within reach. But with Wednesday winning and Stoke winning, I mean, Plymouth are drawing at the moment, so that helps a little bit to sort of keep everything Plymouth, tight. I didn't realise. Speaking to my mate from the Watford pod, and he said to me, Duffy, he said, oh, you know Plymouth are in severe free fall and they're going under the radar about it. Mm. I like, I like yeah. Swung into the box. Chance at the back post. Don't let him shoot. Fucking, why is nobody closing that down? Letting them having three chances again. Some subs on now, Gary. We're tiring. Ball into the back post. Headed down. I would just the best. And then nobody's, everybody's just marking the space. This is where the issue comes in again, though. How many times have we seen it? Height. I mean, that's a push in the back for the start. Like, he's absolutely pushed Pike with two hands in the back there. Here we go, Koji. God, fuck me. We need something here. Who's he taking? Tyler Roberts. Yeah, Roberts coming off. Miyashi coming on. It's probably the right decision in a weird way. But, yeah, we need a goal again. Fuck's sake. This is just not the position I wanted to be in. Although Koji, when he's come off the bench, has been very effective. Yeah, I suppose so. We've just fallen into the same trap again, though, haven't we? Where we've gone a goal up, they've equalised, and we've just sat back and been really, really shit again. Yeah, get up. Well done. Thank you, referee. It's about time that you let some of these run. That's a foul, though. That is literally a Yellow. foul. Yellow card. Ah, uh, 15 minutes to go. We're in a very, very tight point in the season here. Like we're almost losing out to Jack Cole back there. <sighs> Both teams have been crap, says Bertie. I kind of agree with what you say, yeah. Swansea 1-1, one, one, someone's just ripped. Please, honestly, <laughs> I don't. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm pretty sure. No, I don't. It doesn't look like it. There's a couple of reports saying it though. Looks like it, yeah. I think it's 1-1 between Wednesday and Swansea. That's good news for us, that is. If we get a goal here, though, it'd be absolutely fantastic. Stansfield's got it on the left-hand well, yeah. side. He's got Bakuna in the box. So is Miyoshi. Bielik at the back line. Couldn't find Miyoshi. Pretty sure Swansea have equalised. They have, yes. 76 minutes. Goal scorer is yet to come in. So that does help Blues out. It puts us back out of the relegation zone into 21st. Where Sheffield Wednesday go back into twenty third. Like honestly, that is how tight it is at the moment. The positions that people that. are jumping is mental. Like I said earlier, we went from twenty first to nineteenth, and then uh, two goals in two games has put us into twenty second. And now a goal uh, Swansea have got against Wednesday 
and we're back out of it. You know, so it's it's why we've got to win. You know, we, we can't rely on other teams. Robbo's just screaming, Bailey. Bailey's up to smacking his thigh, looking at him, going, Bailey. I don't yeah. know what he's saying. Rob saying, get in now or something. But <laughs> get at him. Love it. Love the passion from Robbo. What Come on, we, we change our season if we get another goal here. Ball into the box. Bakuna again on the edge of the box. He's got Miyoshi to give it back to. He's all sort of playing about there. Drama tries to get it under control. It goes through his legs and QPR can break up the other end. Big chance again in the round the box that for Blues. Drama reads it well out for a throw for QPR. Back to, back to goal three lads on him. What can he do back of that? Can't do much, bless him. I know, yeah. Norwich have taken the lead against Plymouth. Like, honestly, the results have suddenly turned in our favour again now. We need to start pulling our weight again now. We need to need to give ourselves a fighting chance here. Because honestly, if we if we draw today now, I I I want to win now, you know, because it it will just change things into the games going forward. We'll we'll have we'll have the advantage. Do you know what I mean? I think we we're, we're so much better than we are when we're having to claw our way out of a relegation zone. Well clear, cleared by Sanderson. I was about to say well cleared. It wasn't in the end. Headed back in towards goal. I should let it run through to Ruddy. Ruddy needs All to be shouting there, clear. Done for QPR. All working down this right-hand side. I think they're trying to get out Laird and uh, Drama and Buchanan. Anderson for QPR. Well read by B Buchanan. Keeping it out. Yeah, honestly, mm -hmm. the whole the whole that bottom six or so is like so ridiculously tight do you think do you think Knightsbridge will sell us if we let if we if we go down I, I don't never think know. they should in the fact that they'll know that this is their fuck up well I, don't, I, I really hope they don't because they've been the best thing that's happened to us in 10 years and I think they can still do so much more. I don't think they will oh, yeah. sell it immediately, but um, if they do decide to sell, then we'll go back to BSHL because they still have a small percentage share in the club um, at the moment. So that is one thing we don't want. <laughs> yeah, Blues do have to stop giving free kicks away. Yeah, that is true. We're um, we're not in control again at the moment. Yet the fact that all the results are going our way. So if we retook the lead, then we, we can really start to pull away. So we just need to get back on top and get a goal here. Can change your season. Really can. Pake doing well. He's done fantastically today. Brilliant ball into Miyashi as well. He's got Stansfield ahead of him. He can't quite find him. Blue's throw. Relieve a bit of pressure as well for us. Give us a few minutes, man. Still 2 0 between Coventry and Huddersfield. Bielik on the run. Plays into Stansfield. Ball into Miyashi. Doesn't quite get there. Nice idea, though. Yeah, that's a great tracking from the defender there. The fullback's absolutely tracking mm. Oji there because he's through. No, 100%. Stansfield doing his best to try and work his way around the defender. Pike's head is not great there, to be fair, though. QPR can pick up the pieces. Ethan Laird going in there strong. Remember, mate, you are still on the yellow card, but I, I like the attitude. Good pressing this is now from Stansfield. I'm liking it. It's why he wasn't having it in the first half. He looked a bit deflated. Backing into Buchanan there, though. Referee needs to keep an eye on those players. They've been a bit dirty at times today. Nice and drama, though. Brings it down well. Tries to launch the ball over towards Bakuno. His touch isn't great. Cole back can sweep him behind him and play it back to the keeper launches it forward Ryan says get Hogan and Dembele on for fresh legs might be a wise idea might be wise to bring um, someone like Bakuna and Stansfield off for him although I have been impressed by Bakuna his goal was fantastic him and Pike have been terrific this afternoon well read by Cody Drama throw for QPR Did Huddersfield? Yeah, they have. Oh, my God. Well, Huddersfield have scored, so it's 2-1. And QPR are coming towards... Ball towards the back post and drama. Uh, Bakun has done well. Yeah, it's 2-1 between Coventry and Huddersfield. And I'll tell you, need to need to fucking stay on top of this game because 
whilst at the moment the results are slightly swinging in our favour, it, it can all swing back again. It really can. Plymouth are losing. Stoke are still winning. Uh, Swansea have got an equaliser against Sheffield Wednesday. Come on. Don't fuck this one up, man. Ball in from the corner for QPR. Right over the top of everybody. They managed to stay on top of it, though. Stansfield trying to press out, so is Miyoshi. They're trying to work it around the edge of all the play. QPR back out onto this right-hand side. Most of the players are all still in the box still. Ball in. Good clearance header, that from Sanderson. We'll take that all day long. It's really like the Millwall game, I'm telling you. My, my prediction's almost spot on at the moment, annoyingly. Um, but yeah, it's just where it's going at the moment. Nice play from QPR down that left-hand side. Ball inside. Oh, it's, oh, I agree with a bit of a training arm there. And Stansfield's been set away. He is on side. He's in, he was in his own half when the ball was played. Oh, and he just ran out of space and Clark Salter comes across him well. Oh, that's disappointing for him, that is. Game off now. Yeah, we need, we need someone else to come on. Uh, I don't know. This is where I said, I said it earlier in the stream, like towards the end of the game, it's going to be tougher for us. I think QPR are coming on stronger. Header towards goal for Armstrong, pouring the end for him. Yeah, it, it's going to be a tight one at the end of the game and an absolutely monumental task for the end of the season, to be quite honest. It was offside anyway, I think. It's offside. Ooh. Right, final 10 minutes, Jamie. What are we going for? We're going to win, draw or lose? I think we can rob this, you know. I think if you get some fresh legs on, Jay's just showed there that these are going for it. We can kind of sneak a counter-attack here. Yeah, I agree. Terrible kick forward from Ruddy, though. He's offside from Stansfield as well, so not great. Bit of a wasted opportunity for anything. We are making subs here now, though, as you saw on the far side. Uh, don't know exactly who we are bringing on. As things stand, however, the bottom half of the table, minus in Rotherham, uh, Wednesday 23rd, Blues are on, uh, Huddersfield 22nd, Blues 21st, QPR 20th, 19th Plymouth, Blackburn 18th, Stoke 17th, and Millwall obviously um, are on 16th. Ball in towards the back post, good clearance, that is my, we really needed that. The callback sort of fighting with Miyoshi there did look a little bit like a foul. Chair left hand side lifting the ball in towards the box. Bielik with the header away. Bakuna can't get the header, uh, get the clearance right. Uh, Sanderson sort of puts it forward and then doesn't really go into it anywhere. So here's some subs. Scott Hogan coming on for Stansfield and James looks to be coming on as well. Uh, the numbers haven't come up for him. Bakuna, yeah, so uh, almost right with the predictions for the subs there, but I think those are the right substitutes. Probably left a little bit too late, but it's all beauty of hindsight, that is, really. Um, uh, Hogan, what does everybody think? He hasn't made an appearance for a few games now. Uh, and James, obviously, coming back from international duty, making a replacement for Bakuna. What does everybody think in the chat? Is this going to be a draw, a win, or a, a loss for Blues here towards with the uh, 84th minute on the clock? Be good to let you, let you know what you think. Honest opinion of Elias Chair. Well, I think football wise, he's done pretty well today, but I don't know. The, I don't really know what to say about him off the pitch. Probably just a bit of a burke, really. 1 um, 1 says Jeremy, so the score will stay the same. I wouldn't be too upset with that but by the way that the game's gone and by the way we were at one point so really do want to win now oh a bit of bad communication that is there and Buchanan does manage to win a, a free kick Susan really doesn't know yeah it could it could fly either way really I think if there is to be a goal I think by the way that the play is going at the moment it'll be for QPR but I think the only chance we could get a goal is like a literally last ditch counter attack really I think we need to suck up some of the play really because I don't know the options we brought off the bench are okay but I haven't I just don't know with Hogan I think if he's um, in the right positions he'll get a goal for us but I can't see us I can't see him getting anything right from right nothing there, though, that's what you want from Hogan he's just yeah I agree I do agree Mark's confident we'll win 2-1 blows he says come on blows we do need to win here 
Craig says, can't see us winning hope. We hung, uh, can't see us hope we hung on for a point. Uh, one one says, David. Blues win a free kick. Looks yeah. a bit soft in the end, to be fair. They've been getting them all game, man. It's unfair. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. Yes, fuck all in that. We'll take it. I swear there was nothing in the free kick for QPR, though, wasn't there? With the goal, wasn't it? Good ball down the left-hand side. Corner should be for Blues. And the goalkeeper... Oh, for fuck's sake. What? Oh, the... Why would he leave it if it's a goal? Mm. They're getting fucking worse, honestly, referees are. I know it doesn't take such... Never mind. <laughs> it, it definitely is a goal kick. That's a bit embarrassing. Um, how many extra minutes are we going to get? Uh, I don't know. Oh. There's been a couple of players down, so maybe four or five. Um... Yeah, it, it, yeah, probably. Hoping for a win, but I'll be happy with the point, to be honest, says Alec. Yeah, I, 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 we just don't want to lose, of course. That's bare standard, really. But yeah, I, I just want to win, really, where we were when we did score and were in front. Hogan doing a good bit of pressing there. Come on, blows. We fucking need to win. We really do. Because <laughs> if we do score, we go on 42, don't we? Um, so that would take us uh, above Plymouth, put us back into 19th. Um, and Blackburn, obviously, they played later today at uh, half hey, what, five. This, is it Sinclair, this lad off the bench? Mm. QPR. He's a fucking shit house, man. The size of him. Yeah, he's, he's a big guy, isn't he? He's on for headers. Mm. I'm like, oh. No, he looks quite effective for them, to be fair. Just don't want a last-minute corner, fucking hell. James working it inside. Pate coming towards, uh, back towards. And the pass there is poor for his standard today. He's been really good. He's gone straight out to a, a QPR throw. Sinclair, uh, Armstrong can hold it up for QPR. Ball out to the left-hand side. Pate wins it back, though. That's good. Laird as well. Goal kick should be for the Blues. It is. Uh... Take a point for today and on to Monday for free, says Dunboy Blue. Uh, yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be bad, but I really want to win. I really do want to win. I think we can win both games now. I think we've played well today, in the second, particularly in the second half, actually. I don't think we've played as bad as we did against uh, Watford or, uh, you know, those games in the at home. You know, it, 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 we've, we've done okay, I think. But these are the games we should be winning. Do you know what I mean? Like, winning against Preston is going to be difficult. You know, like up against a team who are of similar standard to us, we need to be winning these games. But at the moment, they're pushing forward as well. Sinclair, Armstrong again, swings it out right all the way back. Keep it out. Definitely trying to throw players into the box now, aren't they? You can see by the way they're trying to angle the the attack. Drama does okay to get with uh, get the ball back. James running the ball away should be a blues throw. I'm keeping my eye on that Huddersfield game, honestly, because if they fucking get an equaliser, I'm going to flip. I'm pretty sure if they do equalise, no, they wouldn't go above us. That is good. Thank God for that. That's why we need to fucking stay by the way we're doing at the moment. Blows on the attack. Here comes Miyashi. He's got Laird to his right. He's got James in his left. He's making a run. Hogan's run ahead of him too. You can give it to Paik. Pace gesturing for a shot. He's making nice little feeds. Lovely. Ref. Free kick for Blues. Free Obstruction. Kick. Wonderful from Pake. Absolutely love that. Of course, Backer's not on the fucking pitch now, is he? Might be a Pake one, though. Who knows? <laughs> Gary, Gary, have you got one more in your locker or something? Do you want to just bring... <laughs> Heading, like, literally, this will be into the 90th minute, this will be then. So, depending on how much added time. Oh, come on. Come on. Pake like, has we were... got it in his locker, surely. We, we were... Gutted after the Millwall game. Let's see six if we can do it here. Just yeah, six minutes of injury time. Come on. Come on. Let, let's have it here now. Come on. What a what an amazing moment this can be. I want Pike on it as well, though. I feel like he deserves it for the performance he's put in today. Because Koji, for a lot, could have the ability on the left footer as well. 
The problem is you can get it over the wall and get it down, but you've also got a six foot eight shit out in goal. That might help us though. Who knows? Or maybe he tries like a, a like a other side of the wall. Maybe they have got players there. Blues are making a sub pass with um. We're just about to get up for this free kick here, right on the edge of the box. It's not too close to the wall, so that's why I think we can. I think we can get something from this Gary guy that is coming on. Is he going to about to take the free kick? <laughs> I on. would love it if he walks up, hits it top bins, and then just go, yeah, yeah. take me up again. Sound, see you later, lads. Thanks. Thanks for that. No, a typical Gary Gardner thing would come on to take the free kick and then blaze it. Come on, get Pake on it. Just dip over the wall and into the bottom corner. I reckon he can score this one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's Pake. Oh, nearly. Oh, he tried to trick the keeper by going the other way, but he read it. I just the way it sort of fizzed through the wall, I thought there might have been a chance. Begovic just knows what he's about to do, doesn't he? I think he's hoping he's going to sell himself, but yeah, it's straight down the middle as well. What the fuck? Fuck's sake. So Blue TV has mugged us up there and it's come back to QPR scoring a winner in the 92nd minute, has it? Oh my god. Oh. Uh... Oh my god! He's been fucking elbowing people all day as well. So what's happened there? Big goal kick. Flick on. Oh for fuck's sake! And he just hits it, doesn't he? Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! <sighs> I can't believe this, honestly. How fucking typical is that? What a goal as well, honestly. Oh, that's fucking unbelievable. And how typical, oh, honestly. We had a free kick up the other end. The opportunity to go and win it. One ball down the fucking pitch and he hits it straight into the back of the net. With four minutes left. Three minutes left. Unbelievable. And where does that put us into the table? In the shit. 39, Huddersfield. If they get an equaliser against Coventry, they could potentially go into above us. Oh my god. That has fucking killed me, that has. Why on earth does this always happen? <laughs> Oh my god, what a goal as well. See that, that that is what happens, doesn't it? Like you take it on sometimes and that is what happens. It sometimes just fucking absolutely flies into the back of the net. Oh Let's see, I can't believe that. I just, I just had a feeling we wouldn't be able to keep on the pressure until the end of the game. And the QPR are on the attack again here. Edge of the box. Free chance to shoot. Good save from Ruddy. Unbelievable. They're just going to hold it in the fucking corner now as well. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Unbelievable. We were ahead. We were ahead. We were in 19th. Started to make something from it. That is absolutely gutting, that is. On the brighter side, Co uh, Coventry have scored again, so there's no worry of Huddersfield getting an equaliser and putting us into the bottom three. You could really do the Swansea winner. Well, that would be lovely. But, well, no, Wednesday going... Wednesday are already below us, but it does help, I suppose. Ball in over the top. Anderson for QPR. Try to go for the back heel. Buchanan there. And then knocks it out of play. Uh, and 
that'll pretty much be the end of the game because of an absolute wonder goal. It's how seasons are defined sometimes, and right now I can't see us getting the winner anywhere. It's just a massive battle in the corner, and Sinclair Armstrong's just shouts in it. Pike's doing his best, so is Miyoshi, but it's just going to be an absolute scrap in that corner. QPR win another throw. Oh, Preston is fucking mahoosed now. Go straight out for a goal kick. Is there one last chance for Blues? I hate keep on saying that, to be fair. Let's face it, there isn't another chance, but I'll keep on going to the final whistle. It's a long punt up to Fords. Hogan doesn't even challenge for it. Steve Cook wins the header. And then Chair gets ahead of drama, but drama clears up. Sanderson to launch it forward. Over towards nobody. Led into Gardner. Long ball towards the top. James does his best. Then QPR will clear. It's already gone out for a throw. One more chance because maybe the free kicks did take a while to actually. Maybe, maybe, but it's really not coming, isn't it? No, Buchanan kicks it out of play. That'll be it, pretty much. Oh, that's a, that's a... That one hurts. That one really fucking, really fucking hurts. I'm kind of used to it by now, which is annoying. I know. Oh, you fucking... Uh, we're losers. We are fucking losers. It's what we're the best at. Long throw. Sinclair Armstrong keeping it up. Referee's running this way too long. It's pissing me off now. I know we've lost. Just fucking blow up for goodness sake. And then terrible clearance from Buchanan. Yeah. And that's it. We lose again in Rowett's first game. Very disappointing with having the lead. That's absolutely fucking gut wrenching, that is. Is what it is. We're in trouble. There's no doubt about it now. We, we, we are in a huge amount of trouble. And my patience starts to run thin with all this shit now, to be honest. Why the fuck? Oh, fuck's sake. Bro. Just when it's not going your way, it's not going your way. That, that I shot know. is ridiculous. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Uh, I, I really don't know what the hell is going to happen in these last few games, you know. When chances like that happen as well. improvement today, but it's just not falling for us at the minute. Nothing is working. Hmm. I mean, the goal is absolutely spectacular. You can't, you can't take anything away from the strike. There's nothing that Ruddy could have done about it. I mean, he still gets a touch to it, but... It's just typical of sending it from our fucking free kick. One long ball over the top and it's absolutely caused this array again. I know. How many defeats in the row is that now then? Four. Four. We haven't won since mid-February against Sunderland. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I was going to say we played okay today, but another defeat, you just can't, can you? We, we, we played all right. Again, we played some decent football. I think... Um, I think Bakuna and Paik were great. You can't take anything away from them too. I think they played really well. 
Um, defense were okay, but when it matters, it's it's all about when it matters. Do you know what I mean? Like we we just we're in a relegation battle, so there'll always be contrary opinions on things. You know, when we're a goal up, we literally we were we were fine. You know, we we're 18th. We we're ahead on goal difference. We were ahead on points. You know, we're in 42. We've lost now after we were playing much better in the second half. And we're now on 39 with shit. 39 points, 21st in the table, 18 minus 18 goal difference. So uh, Huddersfield. Above the drop. We are above the drop, yeah. Huddersfield are in 22nd. Uh, same points, but less goal difference. It's, it's ridiculous, really. And then Plymouth have had a bit of a bad game as well. So they they sit in 20th now and 41. QPR with that winner, they're going to 18th on 43, minus 13 goal difference. Stoke won as well, so they're on mi- minus 16 goal difference, 44 points. Millwall, they drew earlier with West Brom, so they're in fairly comfort zones, to be fair, for the where we are in the season. Swansea... Um, they got a point against Wednesday. Wednesday are still battling away, getting points. Yeah. It was the game we should have won today. Yeah, against Preston, who've won again today, and they're eighth in the table now. I mean, I see a, a, a David says, like, beat an ordinary Preston team on Monday. They're better than us, though. It's as simple as that, you know. We'll see. Falls, let's say Andrew's booming. Let's hope for the best. That's all I can say now. We've just got to focus on the own games. I mean, I said it literally before the international break. I went, it's in our hands. The three away games we've got are against teams that are fucking in it. So we can't lose any of these fucking away games. First first hurdle, 2-1 loss. Well, yeah. I mean, we can't lose Andy until the end the of the season. We took the lead. Really That's what pisses me off the most. Yeah. We were much the better team at the start of the second half as well, and then we go a goal up, we get our reward. Really work, well worked goal. Bakuna deserves a goal, and the two goals, I mean, like for QPR, so easily preventable, and take nothing away from the second strike. It was absolutely sensational. But yeah, that's what matters in games, you know, goals. And we we finally get a goal today, but can't all, can't keep any of them out as well. So it's. It's where we are, and the reality is there is no simple answers to it all, really. So we can go around in circles and argue about small different things, but if we're not going to win games and we're going to lose them in the 92nd minute, and we're going to go down. It's as simple as that. There is still lots to play for. There is still plenty of chances. There was plenty of positives to take today, but we didn't win. It, and that's don't make points, that's... though. This is what we're getting sick of. Positives don't make points, sadly. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's such, it's so blues. You take the lead, and then four minutes later, it was shit defending 1 1. Have a free kick on the edge of the box in the 94th minute. Oh, look, they've done one long ball at the top, and we've fucking capitulated 2 1. Great strike. Can't take anything away from it, but. Oh, no. Weak. Yeah, I agree with that comment, actually. Yeah, it's weak. It is what it is. Oh fuck! It was the fact that the the stream would cut away to the highlights, and yeah, the, so we didn't it see cuts it back and it's in. I can't believe that. Let's show, let's show Pate's free kick straight at the keeper fourteen times, and then oh no, we've come back. Oh right, they're all celebrating. Right. Yeah, I mean, Ollie says in the comments here, the free kick was dreadful. Should have let Gardner take it. That's just hindsight, that is, mate. You can't. I mean, I called it to the I, I literally said when he came on, I said, let him have it. Yeah, but again, that's hindsight. You could have said, let Dion Sanderson take it because he would have scored it. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it, it's all of that is hindsight. And the game is hindsight now as well. We know what should have been happening. It's like, oh, that long shot that's shot into the back of the net should, should have closed him down. It's like, yeah, well, fucking everybody knows that now. But like, it's what we need to do in for the future. Do you know what I mean? Because like, we got Preston on Monday. They're a tricky team to beat at the best of times. You know, we, we've played against QPR today. That was the easier out of the two games because this is the, they're they're of the similar quality for us, you know. Preston at eighth, we're fucking twenty first. You know, it's, it's the difference between the two. You know, it's like that we we need to progress into the into the new games that are coming up. You know, and at the way that we're going, it's just it's not good enough. And like Martin says, the team just ain't good enough. 
I, I can't believe I'm about to say it, but they're fucking not, you know, like... Which is more like, infuriating when arguably we've got the best team we've had for years, which I know. pisses us both off the most. Yeah, Football and wise, These are probably the best technical players we've had for a very, very long time. Yeah. If you're going to mm-hmm. go off today's performance, Baka did really well. Yep. Not just because of his goal, Baka controlled the game a lot of the time. Pace well, well we're paying. Midfield three itself, the starting three in the middle were good. Mm. Beely Koffel did a great job. Yep. Man. It's just it, we just oh, lack we just oh. lack it in the both ends of the pitch. We can't keep goals out, and we can't score enough goals. Like Stansfield today, and I, again, I don't want to give him too much because he's still a young kid and everything. But he was like ineffective as usual. Like he has been for the last four or five months now. He just he, he had no pressure on the players. He had no opportunities, you know, to even take any chances. Tyler Roberts, for as good as he worked hard, you know, his quality and his composure was bad. Um, midfield three standout of the game. I felt they controlled both where we were going. You know they defended well. You know Bielik was terrific in that defensive midfield role. Bakuna took the ball nicely forward, and and Paik as well. It was wonderful on the ball. Lovely passes all the time. Really good players. Um, yeah, too many midfielders maybe. Yeah, um, and then defensive wise, you know Sanderson and Iwu and uh, you know Buchanan, they all played well, and Drama and layered as well you know that they did play well but the decisive moments you know and there was a lot of free headers in the box today we just those decisive moments they're going to cost us you know oh, and oh. Yeah, like literally we like, how many different was it 65th goal yeah 65th minute the goal was for qpr we scored in the 61st minute like four minutes you can't keep the ball out of the fucking net it's like come on honestly it's always the way away from home. You take the lead. They're going to have an onslaught for the next five to ten to try and panic and equalise that. You've got to hold tight and fucking firm. Yeah. You've got to hold firm in their moments. Right. The first block for that shot, great. The second one, why are we letting your man have two bites at a shot in the box? Oh, come mm. on. It's it's just poor. It really is. Oh, right, I need to go and get some shots done. <laughs> well then, at that, on that note, on that bombshell, as uh, Top Gear would say, it is time to end. Thank you all for watching. Keep right on. Keep right on, guys.